Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the Fast Life Podcast. I'm glad you guys are checking us out again. Um, great show today. But before we get into it, let's, uh, let's hear from these sponsors and then we'll get right into this episode. Simpson Motorcycle Helmets has been my helmet of choice for the last four years. I personally dig the Ghost Bandit the most, but really leaning towards rocking the Mod Bandit for the next year of riding. Really not sure yet. We'll see how that goes. If you guys want to head on over to SimpsonMotorcycleHelmets.com, you can check out the models and finishes and visor options and see what fits you the best. And also, don't forget to give my guys a follow on Instagram at Simpson Motorcycle Helmets. Lexan is my go-to for not only my Bluetooth system, the FT4 Pro, on my helmets, but now my wireless charging solution on the road as well with their WPC QI wireless charger. This is a water-resistant wireless charger for the Ram Mount X Grip phone holder. This easy-to-set-up system uses a battery tender-style plug for easy install and will only set you back $64.95 with a two-year unlimited warranty. You can also grab yourself a Lexan WPC and Ram X mount for $110 at lexan-moto.com. And at checkout, drop the Fast Life offer code and save yourself 15% off. And don't forget to give my dudes Lexan a follow on Instagram at LexanMoto. Check them out. With my recent 131 crate engine install, my Thundermax ECM was able to get me an extra 136 horsepower and 146 foot pounds over the 124 and 131 projected HD numbers with their tuner. The computer is constantly tuning my bike to the elevation and weather conditions as I ride, which gives me the optimal performance all the time. I also run the Thundermax fan for the M8 Touring models. The oil cooler fan was a big help with my 114 and a must with the new 131 motor. Thundermax has your EFI equipped Harley Davidson's covered and you can check out all these products at shoptmax.com and use the offer code FASTLIFE at checkout, which saves you 10% off. And give these dudes a follow on Instagram at ThundermaxEFI. I recently switched all my lighting on my Rogue Glide to Electric Lighting Co. I'm a huge fan of the looks and the improved visibility I get from the Shark Tooth headlight. And I'm digging the five year warranty on the 15 different LED headlight options for your motorcycle. Their deluxe and premium LED turn signals offers 530 lumens of bright white running light, which are the brightest in the industry and have a lifetime warranty. And last but not least, the LED tail lamps come in a wide range of designs to add that finishing touch and all products are plug and play. NAMS Custom Cycle Products since 1999 have been offering American made wiring products for all things V-Twin and Badlands for over 30 years has been offering the most reliable and dependable lighting modules in the USA, backed by a lifetime warranty. Find out more about these great companies at namscustomcycleproducts.com and you can drop in the FL2020 offer code, which gives you free shipping on all orders over a hundred bucks. Check them out, guys. John Jessup's Team Dream Rides out of Stockton, California is a one-stop shop for you to have your motorcycle customized, maintained, repaired, and upgraded with in-house dyno tuning and parts and accessories. Also, check out TeamDreamRides.com online store to see the full array of products for your bike and you as a rider. And if you're short on cash, you can take advantage of the 100 days same as cash financing on all products on TeamDreamRides.com. All you need is a job and a bank account. And while you're at it, give John and the team a follow at DreamRidesJohn on Instagram. Paint Huffer Metal Flake has been with our podcast since day one. And I've been using their flakes and pearls in my paint work for over four years now. And you can get started down this custom paint path as well with many must-have items for the custom paint process. Head on over to PaintHuffer.com and you can save yourself some coin by using FastLife21 offer code. And last but not least, you can get some inspiration by checking out all the amazing paint work created with Paint Huffer products at Paint Huffer Metal Flake on Instagram. Yeah, we had a great time doing this episode. It was a uh, it was a live one that we did on YouTube. So if you guys haven't 
subscribe to our YouTube, then, uh, you know, you might want to go check that out and uh, subscribe. And you can always check out the live videos and always everything we do live will always come over here to uh, the audio form so you can catch it this way as well. But this one was a fun one, man. Uh, we did it with my buddy Craig, uh, Tarpon Turbo, who is uh, hosting the Down South Camp Out. Uh, I think it's November 5th down in somewhere in Florida. I'm not really doing a good job right now uh, promoting this event, but he's a good friend of ours and uh, he's been coming around and actually helped build some of this studio. He came to our camp out. He's d done the up north camp out. He's been doing a lot of good things for, you know, and, you know, just helping everybody out in our industry and being there. So I uh, wanted to give him a little bit of love back, bring him on the podcast, uh, you know, and just have a good time. And we had a good time. Started drinking at 10 a.m. and uh, it shows in this podcast. So if you want to check out the live video, you can always do that on our YouTube page. Also, it'll be on my website as well. Uh, and for the meantime, you know, we just got this podcast. Also on the episode is Jesse. You remember him? He's my brother. Yeah, he's back for this episode at least. And uh, we got another homie, Scott, who is a tattoo artist up out of Little Rock, Arkansas. So we had a good time. Good show. <laughs> Let's get into it. All right. Hey, guys. You ready to let the dogs out? Fast Life Podcast Life. Okay. We're live. Recording. We're recording now. Ooh. Were we recording just then? Is Jesse on it? Yeah. yeah he's got his mic I got a mic on now. plug. Well, let's welcome back to Jesse to the Fast Life Podcast. It's what been, people wanted. It's been like seven years. It's what they wanted. He's on his trial run. <laughs> He's back on probation. See if he'll fall asleep on people's podcasts again. <laughs> hey, alcohol is a hell of a When's thing. When's the last time I fell asleep? Fell, you fell asleep on Booster Brad's podcast. Oh, yeah, because we were fucking road tripping. I was exhausted. Yeah, we were just there to do a job. Yeah, and then I was like, <laughs> yeah, man, this just tight. <laughs> Or like he'll be like texting his girlfriend the entire time. Like you're telling your life story of how <laughs> you're getting there and this dude's over here like this. And that's why I got fired. Oh, passionate <laughs> about it. He's just, ooh, new so tweet. He like chimes in. Did you say depression? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was me. That was me two years ago, dude. Yeah. It's, a new, it's a new man around here. I'm trying to remember which one uh, the uh, intro was. Seriously, Top can you right, just, right? Yeah, if you don't have to do it now. Can no, you just trim off one of my chins? Just... That'd hey man, fine. that's your fault. I know. <laughs> Life on the road, though. Yeah, I sold my soul to look the way you look. Yeah, it's not easy. It's hard around here, she said. <laughs> well, anyway, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for the uh, whiskey. We've been talking. I've been talking about you for quite some time about like your partying antics. Yeah, yeah. So are, are you completely like a? Uh, just a bad influence to every male that you know, basically? Is Not that? just males. Um, <laughs> when I go home to Florida, it's uh, it's funny. People, people like, I'm not home very often, maybe once every two months. Yeah. And people just know I'm in town because, like, they're showing up late for work. They're hungover for, like, four days. And Cody, Big Wheel Cody and Franz just came to Florida with their wives and fiance, and they kind of got a glimpse of, all my friends were kind of like, dude, we don't look forward to when he comes home. Like, it takes us weeks to get back on track yeah. because of him. Like, so I just kind of have that influence on people. That's kind of how I felt like, you know, because uh, I think the first time that you came to Dallas after like, uh, this last year was the first camp, not this camp out, but the one before. Mm -hmm. So 2019 was the first yeah, camp out. You came of ours. Yeah, the first big one, I believe. Yeah. And then uh, from that point on, it was basically you... Uh, you would just hit me up or like, hey man, I'm in Dallas. I'm like, oh, that's fucking cool. Like, yeah. And then like the next time you're like, hey, I'm in Dallas again. It's like, dude, you're just here last week. Yeah. It's like, it's not cool. It anymore. lost its luster, yeah. man. And, Still and then I'm over. like, I, yeah, I can't fucking party <laughs> like that every night. So it was a, uh, it was a tough one. I'm telling you, after they came to Florida, because we all know Big Wheel Cody's reputation with the party, and it took me weeks just to like have a beer. Again I saw the, the video oh. of you trying to uh, put your flip flop on. <laughs> Did you see that yet last night? <laughs> so we went to Clearwater and then we had to Uber back. Yeah. And I was like, we're all not going to fit in an Uber. So I'll jump in the back hatchback. Well, my ass went to sleep and my leg went to sleep and I couldn't move. Turns out they had a seat up front. But I didn't realize it because I'm not good at counting. And uh, 
I went to get out of the thing and my I can't feel my foot and I couldn't get my flip flop on. So Ashley's like putting it on for me. Uh -huh. and it was like a miserable ride home, but we got through it. There's a there's a part of me that when I see like guys like like when you guys were in Florida and shit like that, like there's a part of me that's like, fuck, man, I want to be there doing that. But there's also the part of me that's like, I do not look forward to getting that fucked up all the time. Anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I really feel like I got like a 10 year span of my life where like drinking is going to be a big part of it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm on the ass into that where I don't want to say I'm going to quit drinking, but I don't know how much longer I'm going to have the energy to go balls to the wall. See you know what I mean? See what you guys see is me going hard. But in reality, it's like twice a month. But it's like because I'm always working. But when I do time. go, I go. I, you know, it's like, dude. When I wrote, nothing. when we met up, the last time we saw each other was in, yep. uh, what was what was it, Warrenton, Missouri? Yeah, yeah, right. We went to your Random signature spot. spot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we uh, we shut down the Applebee's, mm -hmm. and dude, that was going to be a nice, peaceful evening for me and Aaron. Not if I'm there. And then you show up, <laughs> and next thing you know, we're at some bar down the street. I'm laying on the ground in the fucking bar. <laughs> <laughs> Fell down at the bar. <laughs> the next, that was the worst hangover I've probably had in about two years. You were Didn't rough throw the next up. morning. Didn't throw up. I managed to keep it together, but it took, you know, because we were about to do the podcast with Bare Knuckle Paul afterwards. Mm -hmm. That morning, I was supposed to be there like, what, like 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. to do the podcast with him. We didn't like get there till like 12. And then I was, my hangover was still kicking hard until like one o'clock. So right. Luckily, we ran into Paul and uh, CW. CW at the, uh, what was that, Waffle House? Yeah. And uh, so you got to buy a little bit extra time to drink some energy drinks and kind of get over it. But I heard that podcast. You sounded fine. And I'm like, I can't believe you can function today. Because I was driving with one eye all day that day. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny because our, our buddy Tucker was here last night. Uh, and Tucker flies airplanes. Like, he works for, like, United Airlines or something like that. Mm -hmm. He, what, Knowing him now, like, as, as, like, a guy that knows a guy that drinks and parties like us, but he also has so many people's lives in his hands. <laughs> It literally like kind of freaks me out a little bit, and it's like, uh, and I was asking him last night. I was like, "Do you have the same kind of hardcore restrictions that like say Craig has for driving trucks?" And he's like, well, "What do you mean?" I was like, "Like, do you?" I was like, first off, can you get like speeding tickets on your bike and shit, and does that affect your flying record?" It's good, to, good question. And uh, he's like, "No, it doesn't affect you." But he said that you can actually get speeding tickets in the air. Really? Yeah, like when you're flying at certain altitudes because everything is monitored through a uh, like GPS and shit. Yeah, some some something like that, like GPS. I like, was gonna say I want to see those radar guns. Yeah, like in those. <laughs> it's like a those cop. Those, <laughs> well, apparently it's like a, at certain planes. altitudes, like because when you're coming in to fly, like they they have it already. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but I, I want to say those jets can do like at least six. Maybe six hundred something miles an hour. I think it's more. I don't think that. they break the sound barrier. No, they definitely no, don't break the sound no, barrier. That's seven hundred. That. Not a commercial. I th I think they're in the sixes though. Yeah, they're five to sixes at least. Yeah, I, I think I turned on my GPS once. Hey, do you want to record the video? No. Okay. So you just want to leave it off? If the audio's working. I don't want to fuck with it. All right. And then, where's that other window you wanted to pull up? What window? Oh, the ATM. Yeah. It should be up there on the top right. Top right. Oh, I see it. Yeah, that's weird about the plane tickets things because you know sometimes when you're flying and they always tell you, hey, we're getting in the getting into the destination a little early or ahead of schedule or whatever. So they said it's, a lot of that's due to the wind. The yeah, tailwind. tailwind. Yeah, if you get yeah. a tailwind, you definitely pick up speed. But then that it seems like you'd be breaking that speed limit. Well, know. that's what was kind of weird to me about like uh, just like the amount of like stress that you deal with like being a truck driver, and of course until I I, I mean I, I've known truck drivers growing up. I think my first kid's dad kids. I'm his first kid's dad. First kid's dad. Uh, <laughs> my first kid's mom's dad was a truck driver, right? Wait, but he oh. drove locally. Okay, yeah, yeah. So he didn't, like, go on the road and stuff like that. But when uh, the amount of shit that you got to deal with, man, like driving a truck and, like, you can't do this and then you can't get it. What is it? Every time we go somewhere, you're like, you'll do nine over? Yep. But that's it? <laughs> like you yes, said, that was our, it depends where we are. Here. If yeah. we're in the Talamina, 100 overs, all I'll do. But when it comes to, like, so if you get a 15 over ticket, it's happened to me before mm -hmm. in the trucking industry and you can be in a motorcycle car, whatever, um, a, you get fired immediately or your lease canceled. And then, um, B nobody will ever hire you again mm -hmm. until it's gone off your record. So you pretty much, you know, I'm an owner operator, so I have a truck payment and all that stuff. And 
if I get one of those, I have no way to pay that truck payment. And now I'm just completely screwed. I'm bankrupt. Too now I can't drugs. get a, a apartment because my my credit screwed up from the truck. It would completely ruin my life getting a 15 over. It would mm -hmm. just be done with it. But luckily I got one, got fired, beat the ticket, went to another company. But luckily I got through that. But it was like, dude, I just spent X amount of money on a truck and now I just lost my career. What about like, uh, do you have like the video cameras in there? Mm -hmm. Cause that would save your ass all the times so with people cutting you off, things like that. Because also offender benders and shit mm -hmm. are apparently like a big strike on your record in, in, while you're in the truck. Right. Yeah, if you rear end somebody, you're pretty much done. I mean, they're going to blame you all the time. But if you have a camera, because there's all those schemes out there trying to get you to rear end on them and yeah. stuff. Um, but yeah, I have an outward facing camera. I don't have an inward facing camera that faces me. Because you're doing stuff. Because stuff I'm watching Netflix. This and podcast. <laughs> um, listen, no, but. Not watching. I don't have an inward facing camera. I would never work for a company that did have an inward facing camera. I just feel like it's an invasion of privacy. If I want to yeah. pick my nose, I want to pick my nose in peace. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I, you know, I don't want to wear pants every day. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to sell those lot lizards in your truck that you're taking from yeah. spot to spot. That's uh, when I say you're like an Uber driver for lot lizards. Right. <laughs> Are y'all even allowed to like pick up people anymore? Like hitchhikers? You, they got to si sign like a waiver for insurance reasons. Uh, but like, no, nah, I don't pick up. Like all my passenger seats all full of paperwork and stuff. Yeah. But um, yeah, the first time, every time I say I'm a truck driver or something, uh, the first questions I get are about lot lizards. It's mm. just like immediate go to. It's like everybody wants to bang a chick from a truck stop. Like and a, Bill? It's like a lifelong uh, goal for some dudes. I don't, I don't know anybody like that. No, I'm just saying, like, everybody's asking him, so you yeah. would have to assume that. Our friend Peaches out of. Uh, okay, yeah. Did you see his uh, TikTok video or whatever of him with the Dude, lot I lizard follow, video? I follow so him, funny. but I guess I'm not, a, like, our algorithms aren't intertwined right. because I don't ever see anything from him. I don't. Somebody shared it on our group chat, our motorcycle group chat, um, the, uh, his video of him just. Doing this lot lizard, it was hilarious. He was banging her? No, no, no. It was like a a <laughs> video. Doing yeah. this lot lizard. A video I don't, I don't about how be on TikTok, how man. truckers react the first time a lot lizard knocks on your door, and it, it was just you got to see. I'll show you later. But it's really funny. They but they come up and they'll knock on ones? your door. No, no, they're all like be some. they're all like if your grandma did crack for thirty years, like that's what they look like. So they're not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what about like the, uh, you know, cause like anytime you do truck or you're driving, like you get out of towns, you always see those big, massive, like porn stores. That used to be a thing for truck drivers, right? Now because they have gone. truck parking. So yeah. that's like a lot of guys will just take advantage of the truck parking there, but they're still everywhere. I, I don't know how they stand. Is it business. more like a jerk off joint? Not so much a, uh, this is definitely not get monetized, but <laughs> <laughs> so it's more like a jerk off joint instead of like, uh, like a place you go rent videos and shit because who they have video rooms. Video. I don't know. That's what, never, yeah, that's a jerk. That's yeah, what yeah. That's what. Yeah, yeah, that's all they do. I've never been to one. Um, that I'm gonna say on this spot. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I've never been to one, but I don't really oh, know what's inside. My favorite is this one. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, but they'll come up. They'll knock on your door. I had one one night knocking on my door for like 40 minutes straight. I finally woke up and let her out. I was, not, I was just <laughs> over that shit. What about uh? You remember that uh, along came Polly the truck stop or like the rest stop where all the gay all the dudes? yeah the guys popped out of the grass. <laughs> and, <laughs> Is there a lot of gayism in, uh, <laughs> so we in got, truck driving? We got these apps that kind of tell you, like, if a, a rest stop or a truck stop is full that night or a Walmart yeah. is full or if they allow truck parking, and you'll just, like, see some, like, where's Duke at tonight? Like, <laughs> like, and, like people respond back to each other. I'm like, this is like an underground community. It's like the, uh, truck the driver sex grinder. community with Home Depot and Truck place. driver grinder? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> I, was, I, was trying to go, I, was like, I think they call it gear grinder. Gear grinder. Gear grinder. Yeah. Nobody had a comment after that. One. I was. Uh, I had a thought, and I was like, "How do I put that together? I can do something with this." Man, that's awesome. What got you into truck driving, though? My grandpa was a trucker. His whole from nineteen to retirement. I used to go cross country with him uh -huh. um, on my summer vacations, and we used to go all over the country. And uh, I've always wanted to do it, and uh, I've always had jobs pulling trailers and stuff, so I was, had a knack for it. And then um, one day I was in a relationship, and we ended it. And I was like, we were living together, so I had to figure out a home situation, stuff like that. I'm like, you know what? I already have a CDL. I'm just gonna try this truck driving thing out. You know, I'll do it for a year, and once I get a year under my belt, I'll go home and get a job making $25 an hour just doing local driving. Yeah. Well, you get a taste of that over the road money and you can't go back. 
You're mm. just like, oh, dude, I'm kind of out here now. But I, I, that's the thing about, to me, with the truck driving that, that uh, not that I want to, I'd, I'd love to do it. Like, I would love to be able to jump in a truck and not have any worries of my own that I have to get back to. But it just seems cool as shit, man. Like, when you're traveling on a bike and you're going to those rest stops or those, because uh, I always stop at truck stops when I do my trips because they have more amenities at them and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same vibe. Like, you know, you're in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Fucking the sun's going down or Lordsburg, New Mexico. The sun's going down over the mountains and you're like having a monster real quick before you jump back on the road and try to make the Tucson or some shit. Like right. that vibe to me, just like, I love that shit. And it's got to be the same for truck driving. I love it. Um, I don't feel like I work ever. Um, yeah. There are days I have to do a lot of labor intensive stuff, but because um, I, I drive a pneumatic tank and sometimes stuff needs to be fixed. And especially stuff on the truck, you, you might be changing a water pump in a truck stop parking lot sometimes. it's. But um, for the most part, it's just like, you don't feel like working. You don't set an alarm clock during any day. You just yeah. wake up when the sun comes up and you do your thing and go back to sleep. Um, it's fun. It's uh, definitely an interesting life. It's, it's a commitment. You, it's hard to have a family or anything like that. Yeah. Or in my case, even attempt to start a family. So I'm like, Kind of at this point, I'm just like, you know what? I kind of like my life, and I don't really want to change anything. The, the weird thing about that, I mean, this might be going down a rabbit hole that I don't know that we're qualified to talk about, but, like, you, I think you represent a lifestyle that I think that most people, after they tried the relationship, they'd probably rather have. The homies everywhere, travel everywhere, never, you know, completely wanderlust, nomadic lifestyle, basically. Mm -hmm. That, um, you know, and then, like, how do you even – I mean, you said you had a chick back home for a while, and it was just kind of like – a bitch. Uh, yeah, I've, I've dated a couple. She wasn't a bitch, but it was a bitch. No, she was a bitch. Um, <laughs> I've dated a couple girls since I've been driving. Um, and it's it's good after a while. And then I kind of get to this point after where I'm like stubborn to where I'm like, well, okay, I don't have all the time in the world when I'm home. I want to see my friends. And when I come home, she's like, I need you for every second you're home because you're never home. We got a baby home. shower. Yeah. We got this. Like, I need you to look yeah. like my dude. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I just want to go, like, see my friends and have a beer. I haven't seen them in months. and But she wants all the attention. But so I'm like, I just got over that shit real quick. I'm like, yeah, yeah I want to see you, but can we go see my friends too? Like, oh, yeah, do it together kind of. Yeah. And I'm, I don't know. It's, it's I'm, I'm more stressed out when I'm dating somebody. I just like to. I'm fine with not talking to anybody for days. Yeah, and then you feel like more of a responsibility to get back home too. Right, yeah. yeah. So if I don't have anybody back home, I don't feel a need to go to Florida. Keep talking, I gotta fix it. Yep. So I just kind of, I know, I told you, I was trying to fix it. Yeah, but my dad My dad did the, kind of did the tail end of his life. He'd become a truck driver after running, you know, he had a paint and body shop for, for yeah. many years. That's what I grew up into before I joined the military. And then he, uh, uh, just got tired of people and at some point you know he's already been married for 30 years at this point all of me and my sisters we were already grown kids out of the house and that's when he took on to the road and uh, just to be able to clear his head and just enjoy the open road and being just like Craig not from not living in the state where he's from mm -hmm. dad had just like uh, Chase was saying he had friends that he can make stops so if he was in Virginia Beach or if he was up in Massachusetts or wherever he knew that he had loads to be able to catch up with people and see old high school friends and stuff. Yeah, yeah after so I many feel years. like that the the truck driver loads. lifestyle is like pretty parallel with like biker lifestyle mm -hmm. too. You know, it's the same thing. You're just in a different vehicle. Yep. And that's yeah. the thing. And then he gets home, he gets on his bike and does all his local stuff. Yeah. And then, you know, but when he's on the road, but he, like I said, he, unlike how Craig's doing it, he waited later in his life and then took to the road. Right. My, my mom was cool with it, you know, and. Uh, found a good company to work with where he was home every weekend so yeah. it's definitely something to think about when you get older too because yeah. it keeps a marriage together you're not fussing fighting now at that point say, it's people probably, don't want to be together yeah it's probably know? a little different once you've been together for you know 10 yeah. years and you're like, or yeah something. get the hell out of the house like, yeah dude stay out fucking plus first. plus the money's good so my mom was happy to spend that when, right. when the money came in she's like well hell yeah let's go it's it's definitely remodel the house a lot, and, lot more selfish to where i'm like you know with the whole dating thing it's like I don't want to go home and hang out with your friends. I want to go do what I want to do on my small amount of time off. And then ha most most of that's like riding cross country. Like, I don't want to come home and hang out with you on the fucking couch. Yeah. Or I feel like that's that's like the general struggle with relationships anyways. Because yeah. both of you need to be selfish enough to like take care of your own lives and have your own friends and do your own shit. Create Especially your own happiness. Like, yeah. I, like I just mentioned, the lot lizards are hot as shit. So really, what do I need? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's a, that's that's like what I was kind of getting at is like uh, 
with the traveling, with with social media connecting people across the country, even your job makes it to where it's like you're not even on a bike, but it's like, oh fuck, Craig's in town. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, do I want to get fucked up this weekend? <laughs> do, uh, I guess shit's well, that, here next week. Every time he comes into Little Rock, to, you know, he loads a lot in Little Rock, and he'll just put a beacon out on on Instagram. I live yeah. probably 20, 30 miles away from where he loads up at. As soon as I see it, I'm like, hey, you got plans yet? And he goes, nope. All right. We'll meet up and just head out downtown. And now here we are in Dallas, you know, just yeah. uh, spur of the moment. Literally, he, he posted it, what was it, Friday? Or no, Thursday. Yeah, I was like, I'm thinking about Thursday going night. To I think I'm going to go to He's DFW. Like, I'll go. Like, hell yeah. Yeah, this weekend's free for me too. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. So we yeah, road tripped it. Like I said, that whole deal, man, uh, the traveling thing, it's just awesome. It's uh, for you, it's probably a little bit easier because you drive trucks. And then, you know, like I said, you've already kind of built a network between like Texas East. Right, mm-hmm. so all the homies in Michigan and all in between. Um, for me though, I haven't really gone east that much, so I have Steve up there and a couple little mm-hmm. homies. But I don't know. It's a. Do you ever go? Do you ever drive west at all? I think I asked you this before, but I think you stop at so in my, Mexico. My truck's a pre admissions truck. It's That's a. Right. It's called a glider kit. It's a new truck, but it's got an old motor. It, it's like a loophole, so I don't have to have DEF and particle filters and all that stuff. Um, so I'm not California legal. Mm-hmm. So if you go like west of the Rockies, as you say, you really if you ain't going to California, there ain't no money out there. Yeah, you either go to California and then bring it east. I mean, you're not picking stuff up in Nevada. Like, yeah. there's just nothing out there manufactured that we would put in our tanks. But yeah, I uh, for a prior company, I've been to California, you know, ten twenty times, and then for this company I'm at now that I'm leased on to, I've been to Washington a handful of times in Oregon and um, Alberta and oh, what's the other one? I don't know. Some of these. Yeah. Been up there a bunch. And, um, but that's about as far west as I go. I don't really go out there very often. Oh, to the edge? It's yeah, usually. As far as west <laughs> as you can go. I don't think you can go any further it's, west. It's like you. I've been drinking whiskey. <laughs> you mean you don't go southwest? Yes. Yeah, you go, I don't north, go, to Cali you go northwest. I don't go past like New Mexico really anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, so no Arizona, don't really no go Cali. Yet. Past Colorado I don't think, very I don't often. Think Phoenix has much manufacturing in it, unless you're talking about motorcycle parts. So what I do is um, uh, raw ingredients for stuff. So it's like bulk, bulk tank. So it's like yeah, you know, forty six thousand pounds of uh, sulfur or modium nitrate or stuff like that. So Shit that like, blows up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just drive around a bomb? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Those ones pay good. <laughs> so like we started ones. this podcast talking about your ability to drink, and now we know that you drive a bomb around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those days are a little sketchier drinking, yeah. Like, the so the day that we met up in Warrington, like, how was your next day? Because you were headed to Little Rock, right? Oh, where did I go after that? Mm. I think it came out of Little Rock, didn't you? No, he was coming from Minneapolis down. Uh, I think I was going to Louise. I was going to Little Rock. Yeah, the next night I was with them in Little Rock. And then um, I was trying to get home. And then I picked up a load in Little Rock and I went to drop it somewhere else in Arkansas. And I was going to go home from there. But uh, I had some stuff to screw up on my truck. So I ended up having to fly home. But I was... Uh, I don't remember. I think I was you were pretty, probably headed. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was the weekend before. I think Cody I, and them I woke up out, with like yeah. a BC powder and an energy drink, and I think I was fine after that. Mm. But I just had to get through it. But no, it wasn't that bad that day. I didn't have to do two podcasts that day. <laughs> yeah, it was. How uh, was your day? Well, uh, after we did the podcast with Paul, we went. I went to Insta Heaven Kyle's house, and mm-hmm. uh, we went and had dinner. It was a really romantic evening. We had a good time. <laughs> And then uh, he's a good host. He is, yeah. And then uh, we were. Uh, he he got me on this crown apple shit that I'm I'm doing right now. And um, the crown apple and like he did with Sprite, but I'm like trying to be conscious conscientious of my weight. Mm-hmm. So I've been doing it with Topo Chico. That's the widest way to ever say Topo Chico. Yeah, you know don't speak yeah. Spanish. Cultural appropriation. <laughs> Uh, but no, like he he was drinking, and I was trying to like get into the drinking mode with him, but I just was. I had flashbacks of the night before and, <laughs> and that type of shit. So I was not really. Dude, people get PTSD. Ready. You party with Turbo. <laughs> <laughs> I got a friend named Turbo, dude. That's the that's the most eighties thing I've ever ever thought of. That's where I got it from. It was a. Um, uh, what, I'm what's, your Turbo lover. American Gladiators. That's where it came from. <laughs> yeah. 
Dude, that was the Saturday night, the Saturday night jam, right? Yeah. For like Saturday morning, was was it night or? No, it was nighttime, man. I feel like it was nighttime because I remember like going to like sleepovers and like gladiators would be on. Next thing you know, whoever's house it was oh, yeah, turned into fighting and yeah, yeah like fucking else. the couch turned into like. So you and a bunch of dudes watch guys in spandex at sleepovers and then pillow fighted. Yeah, and then we played pillow with our X Men uh, action figures. Yeah, <laughs> fuck with me. <laughs> That's so. why he rides Harley's. Right. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I'm from chaps. I'm from the '90s, bro. Like, we, <laughs> or I'm from the '80s, but in the '90s, dude, we like when you think about like old bikers, right, and how cool they are to yeah. the to the core. Like, yeah, dude, you were born in '45. What did you play with in the '50s? Nothing. Yeah. You play with a paddle with the yeah ball. paddle. Yeah, it's like would you play rickets or some shit like that or cricket or I think rickets, rickets is a was disease. a disease. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. Did you play with rickets? No, he sat down. <laughs> So you probably just fucking did chores, dude. Like, I grew up in a much more better time where I had action figures and I got to use my imagination, faggot. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh, dude, cancel the out. fucking the time. show. Five minutes. Okay, we got not, no, wait, wait, we, made it, we made it 30 minutes almost. 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, sorry, 30 minutes? Yeah, dude. So, it's, no, it was, uh, it was, um, so, yeah, like, you know, growing up, like, we had better TV shows. You know, we had fucking Airwolf, goddamn, uh, what was another man, one? And all that kind of stuff. Recess, um, that show. Recess, Teenage the Mutant. Saturday morning uh, cartoons. I'm more. Oh, Jesse's Recess. Age. I'm yeah, closer he, to Jesse's age, I think. Yeah, no. Recess. You're the, thirty, right? Thirty-three. Yeah, you're closer yeah, 30, to me than anybody yeah, else. I'm closer. Here. I'm, I'm closer thirty-eight, dude. He's five years from me. You're fucking twenty-five. You right? might know my 30. dad from high school. <laughs> <laughs> <God. laughs> He's getting the whiskey out now. He's like, all right, all I right, can't. I'm done or I might be dead. <laughs> In that case, I'm gonna need a helmet painting discount. Nah. <laughs> Dad. Dad. If I just be real quiet, can I just sit in here and watch this movie with you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be quiet. Got a handle, dude. Is Ooh, that a thing? Son. I know it's a big boy. Bro, what time is it? 12.30, it's time to bust out the handle. Wow, you guys are hardcore, man. Does this look better than just being beer wasted? I feel like when I get drunk on like liquor, I feel like I a little classier, more distinguished a little bit. You, you say, know? you say, am I the Dollar General cup? Not with your current company. <laughs> your current You're provider. drinking liquor out of a plastic cup, though. <laughs> yeah, I get so, class. I'm fucking fancy. I don't know what it is. I like drinking out of plastic cups, even at home. Yeah, you like, like sigh. So you Duck like. Dynasty? Old, old, old <laughs> uncle with the fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. always drink the sweet, <laughs> always had the sweet tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I just, I don't know. I've always been a, a plastic cup guy. Like, you know, it's like I'm not even gonna try to describe it, but like I'm the guy that goes to Walmart and buys like a ten pack of plastic cups that are like like the Dixie cups. No, like, like the ones no. that look like, like that, old like cafe style cups. They'll be like red, but like a little texture in it. But you're they're like kind of translucent and shit. Mm -hmm. I fucking love those cups. I don't know what I it feel is. Feel like I need to pull up a picture of that. <laughs> Show everybody. <laughs> I didn't plug that computer. I didn't know if it was yeah, causing no, an issue. Yeah, I know. It might have. In the future, is there going to be ways to like pop up pictures of stuff? You're yeah, we got that right now. We have it now. We just like, have to preload the, it. Like it has to be something he already saved to his computer currently. Uh, pop up the uh, the uh, no. You can just hit the button on the thing. And yeah, we we got move. it. No, the camp out thing. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to find it. It's right. You. It's a button. It says still on the on the thing. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Hold on. It's going to look He's black gonna at first. He's going to fuck it up a couple times. Uh, I fucked it up a few times first. We're trying to learn the new. One more fuck up, and then we're there. Bam. Bam. Down south that. camp out. Oh, That's what this God podcast damn. is about, yeah. by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So we need, we need to talk about that. This isn't a trucking podcast? Oh, man. Hmm. I know I have a lot of truck drivers that listen to it, so I thought it'd be cool to. Dude, we um, got nothing better to do. Trucking yeah. and fucking, dude. Mm, trucking and fucking. That's, that's a tattoo I need you to do for me. There it goes. Keep on trucking and fucking. <laughs> Hell yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. So what's the uh, the deets on the down south camp out since we need to get into that anyways? So it's on the 6th of November. Well, it's at the um, Scooter Haven. It's a cool little motorcycle campground that has a bar. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but they don't have a liquor license or anything, so everything's cash. Don't be snitching. So Snitches like, get stitches. So like you go in there, like, can I get a beer? And they're like, sure. Be like how much? Man. And they're like, donations. So you just give them whatever. They probably make more money doing it that way, honestly. Yeah. Because they're like, you're gonna Throwing give them like five, $5 yeah, bills instead and shit. of 250. But um, 
they have like a food truck there. Can they just sell you the beer? Like so, like a twelve pack or some shit. Mm-mm. No, no it has I know some places get away with stuff. it. Back home, they get away with it. They sell you a, a card, a, a donation card, and it's got like a hole punch. And every beer you get punches a hole yeah. out. So it's like a twenty dollar card. And every beer is two fifty. So every time you get a beer, they just punch. Yeah, it. they're getting away with it here in Deep Ellum by just uh, every time you buy a beer, they're like they'll give you a bag of chips or mm. like make you buy a sandwich or something, and yeah. then you can. That way, they got to pay the ridiculous. Yeah, liquor or you buy a cup. And the yeah. alcohol's free, that kind of thing. Right, you get around it that way. But yeah. I'd be a little bitch and just sell alcohol and tell them to fuck off, man. That's kind of what Scooter Haven does, man. They <laughs> just they just do their thing, but um, they're like super motorcycle targeted. Come back with the National Guard. Yeah, <laughs> we'll be ready. Come back with a park ranger. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah those guys fucking suck. So they're super motorcycle oriented. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's a nice little place. Um, but we'll be able to just go into a bar and drink right on the premises, which is pretty cool, which well, we, we haven't had. We can still bring our own drinks, right? You can still bring your own drinks, yep. Cooler it up like we usually do. So it'll probably be what half an area hour. area of Florida is? Because it's not like the panhandle, so and it's, it's not quite the, the ball dick thing hanging down, right? Two hours straight north of Clearwater. Everybody pretty much knows where Clearwater is in Tampa Bay. It's just straight up the coast in like more of the rednecky woodsy area of florida there's no beaches or anything it's all marsh so like half so like are we, so you literally are yeah. we by a swamp yeah i'm sure there'll be swamps i so think it's like is there alligators we're gonna see some Whole gators a gator. yeah. there's a gator on the shirt yeah we went gator hunting or searching with a so Korean you're telling James me we should florida. bring some fucking rifles it's, it's florida you don't you have to bring a gun i think it's a rule <laughs> it's a gun shine state bro Gunshine. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, the goal was like you're going to be leaving from Arkansas mm-hmm. with and uh, you're coming with and, and Scott and, and, and I heard Tony Justin and for sure confirmed that he was miss- yes, not I got missing the this at all. I got the message. He oh, really? would be there. He was not going to miss it because he knows how much his friendships depend on it. Mm. Right? Okay. Because right now excited. he's out having a really great time well, in Tennessee. Is, his wife hit me up for a shirt. And I screenshot it and sent it to him. I go, dude, you have to come now because I'm yeah. not mailing out shirts. Because just because I don't have the ability to, I'm not going to take all leftover shirts and put them on my bike and bring them home and mail them out. Like, do no. you have and any? I want you to earn it. I want you to ride there and get a shirt. Like, I forgot to pre-order it. No posers. You can still do it. I can still pre-order. Yeah. Okay. Just give me. I'll money just cash that view today. What do you got in your pocket? Uh, oh, got debit. I got a debit card. <laughs> Um, Good thing I got a square. That's <laughs> but we'll be riding from Arkansas, Little Rock. Uh, we're riding down to Jackson, Mississippi. Me and Jaden been kind of going back and forth and getting everything the organized. The reason I kind of want to ride now, and I'm still on the fence, it's going to be a last minute decision whether Pussy. I ride or not. But I want to do. I want to ride only because Jaden has been running point on this whole deal, mm-hmm. and it'd be the first trip that I've done that where you didn't do. I'm not. You're planning it yeah. i'm not doing i'm just there to go on the ride Jaden's killing it like he's very attentive and he's he's getting every little detail in there and me and him been going back and forth and we'll like just take an hour of the day and just go back and forth and just lock stuff down like the hotel and where we're meeting and stuff like that um but yeah we're all gonna meet in um, jackson mississippi and then we're gonna ride the rest of the day down to florabama which is this cool bar i've been there once um in orange yeah. beach yeah. it's basically Huge. the 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 state line goes through the middle through of the, the bar. middle of the bar yeah, yeah. so we're going to be staying um like five miles west of it on the alabama side at the orange beach mm. days holiday inn holiday inn holiday, inn. holiday inn. Mm. Uh, I, th- I think a lot of people have already booked their rooms there so it'll be a it'll be a hell of a time just there yeah. um a lot of people coming from you know mark's coming from cedar park and then oh he's coming oh he's coming dude yeah, if Mark's coming. I'm surprised you don't know because me and Mark are kind of best friends. So I don't know. <laughs> wow. You met him before? Uh, yeah, well, you know, I, last I heard, he was my best friend. <laughs> so I don't really know how he could be also yours. Justin, um, where's he from? Uh, uh, San Antonio? Oh, yeah. FLH. Yeah, he's coming up. So T- Adam R- and them, I believe, are coming from Houston. So there's going to be a, a bunch of people coming from all around Texas, and we're all going to meet there the first night. Mm-hmm. So it should be a good turnout. And then the next day, we're going to wake up. Um, a friend I went to high school with ha- works at a bar in the Panhandle, so we're gonna ride like four hours, get lunch at her bar. They're gonna open early for us, or like uh, like Panama or some shit. No, four hours. It's we like right damn near be there. It's like it's like four hour, three hours in the morning or something, and then like three hours after that. So we're we gonna stay on the coast the whole time and ride. Yeah, the, we're like, gonna ride the coast. And all that? Yeah, we're gonna ride the coast down from the hotel all the way down. Her bars right along the way. We we'll stop there and get lunch, and then. Um, 
I've I'm ridden there. from Destin all the way to Panama on the coast. I haven't. I've yeah. never done it. I just kind of hit the highways because I'm always in a hurry. Having a being a trucker, I'm always in the mentality of like get miles done fast. Yeah. And yeah. so like I don't enjoy anything. I just hit the highways. And it's hit kind them of fast. it's kind of a it, it's a weird one, right? Because I, I know exactly what you mean. And because a lot of times when I'm on the road, I get in that mode of let's get there. Yeah. Me and him didn't take our helmets off for any gas stop all the way. Yeah. We just pounded. But like also. When you're when you do a bike trip in like say two weeks and you're and you're knocking out like ten or fifteen states, mm -hmm. uh, you don't necessarily get to park your bike and hike in and go check out that thing. Right, you know, right. like you got to see the roadside shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why I guess like things like Monument Valley has always been really great because it's literally something you drive through. Yeah, on the way somewhere like, else. We got to park here and then we got to go out. You know, walk out a mile. Right. And you know what I mean, like that shit. Like some of the Grand Canyon spots, you're like park here and Dude, walk Grand Canyon way far. Is like that, or the Horseshoe Bend, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that, I want to see that one, but that's like a mile walk or something. Dude, yeah, I think it's a little over a mile. Someone, I, a friend of mine, just went on it. And yeah, I get triggered when people are telling me they're doing a road trip. I'm like, yeah, we're gonna stop by and see Grand Canyon. It's like, why? What, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> like, it's nothing. It's a ditch. Cross you know off the list, though. Got to cross off. The Dude, list. it's like I get it. Like I did it, you know. But we, I skipped it like five times like mm -hmm. going down 40 even literally to the point where we were at the entrance to go into it and we're like eh fuck it you know it's like because i've seen it from the airplane going to vegas a million times i'm like oh it's kind of cool but yeah it looks just like all the other canyons in america it's like not that amazing and the other thing about it that's not amazing that like i don't like is that you literally feel like you're sitting in an amphitheater with a million people looking at the same thing so it doesn't feel like you're looking at nature it feels like you're looking at a stage. You're not secluded at all. Yeah. You're with a group of people you don't know, just kind of. So that's what I love about, you know, like I said, I'm sorry. I, I feel like Monument Valley is my DMT for Rogan, right? <laughs> so you just got to bring it up all the time. Yeah, like because, well, because it's a perfect example. It's like, it's not like some amazing thing that like, oh man, like it could be depending on how you look at it. Depending but, on how much you like Forrest Gump. Yeah, exactly. And I love Basically, that. Yeah, yeah. It's so my favorite. <laughs> when you're there though you drive you see it you drive you stop there's not i know there probably can be at times but there's typically every time i've went there's not some crowd there so you're literally there's cars coming and going but there's not like a fucking line in a in a bus full of asian people sitting there taking pictures of it you know what i mean right right and i don't mean to be racist in that i'm just saying like that's no, kind like of, tourists basically yeah, yeah, yeah well yeah like anytime you're out west anywhere you're in san francisco there's buses of asians there taking pictures of everything they must only advertise those buses in asia so i've never seen a sign for them <laughs> yeah, but they all know that, where they are yeah you you have to be asian to get on it yeah there's been plenty of times we'll be in vegas <laughs> they're all just sitting there calculating gas mileage <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We're never gonna get monetized. <laughs> so you're never the, uh, gonna get monetized. I don't. I don't remember which trip it was, but I remember somebody we were with. Well, I think it might have been Brad or something. One year we were in Vegas, and uh, this Asian people just walk up to you in a gas station and go, "Can I take a picture with you and your bike?" Yeah, the Americana biker. Yeah, it's it's kind of like okay. Yeah, yeah but like Instagram has showed me, there's a fucking badass like motorcycle culture. Japan, out there in Japan, Japan is insane with yeah, they got So I've sold two bikes to Japan. Those the the, the Evos and the shovel heads over there. Yeah, they their scene that, is they, incredible. That, yeah. that whole chopper Dude, scene is Indonesia. Out there. They're doing it better than we're doing it. Oh out yeah, there. Dude, Indonesia is doing performance baggers better, way better than we're doing it. They're they're everywhere out there. Yeah, they're fucking. They can suck it though. <laughs> now you know what's really it's really America. Dope. Yeah, yeah, you're always second place, but. Like fight us, <laughs> what? Oh. fight us, and then you can be the badass. Don't throw a um, stick at me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank get God! It. Thank God get for Patreon. Air fast. Get, uh, get, get an Air Force nerd. Air fast. Get, air fast. get an Air Fast. <laughs> get an Air Fast nerd. Uh, but no, what was uh, when I was in New York? I was uh, at this dude's uh, house. We were all hanging out there, and his uh, he had like a little shed type garage and behind his house. And uh, I was in there. He's like working on this like Dyna Defender that he picked up. He's he's making it pretty nice. He had this wall of magazines, dude. And I'm fucking a magazine fiend, right? So I started looking at him. He's got like original, like old school show class magazines where they were like these long little pamphlet looking things, dice magazines, all these. But then he had like all these collections of like hot bike from Japan. Those magazines, Japan magazines, are way fucking doper than ours. Oh yeah, really? high quality photography, prints really nice. And he said he had a homeboy over there that basically ships him all the magazines when they come out. And he has like, there's another Chopper magazine out there that's really nice too. But they, it's literally all of America shit. Mm -hmm. But like, way better photography, way better shit done in Japan. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
It's pretty crazy. Just like tattooing, Americana tattooing in Japan. There's some yeah. like Ink Rat, and there's a couple other uh, Isn't shops. it funny how they can do our style better than we can? Oh, <laughs> you know, but they're doing American words. They don't speak any English, yeah. but they're doing like whole fast or whatever. Perfect font. You it know. means faith. Yeah. <laughs> it means exactly. faith. Yeah, that means general size. But no, they, they love Americana over there. Which, I mean, in the JDM culture, uh, you know, in imports and stuff like that, we're big on that. I mean, you see yeah. a right-hand drive car over here, and you're ooh and ah. And Dude, actually. Yeah, this actually, is the guy. So I was on my way back to New York, and this is the craziest shit in the world. Because um, I, I grew up in the Nissan world. Mm -hmm. You know, I was all into, like, 240s so, yeah, and yeah. 180SXs and 240s. Um, so I was coming through. Well, I was coming. I was going to stop through uh, D.C. on the way home, but then I, I saw that I can knock off just a little panhandle of West Virginia and get on the wherever that highway is that takes you all the way to Bristol, Tennessee, mm -hmm. for the most part. So I did that. I got. I went into West Virginia a little bit, and then while I'm riding through there, I start to come up on a 240, and I'm like, "Oh, that's a 240." I used to. That was my mm -hmm. life before motorcycles, right? I'm like. Oh, he's got a Sylvia badge on it, which is what the car was called. the The coupe was called mm, a Sylvia. The 180 or the yeah. The, the 180 was the, uh, the fast hatchback. Yeah. So it had the Sylvia badge. Oh, that's dope. And then I'm like, that motherfucker's driving on the right hand yeah. side. So it's an actual car <laughs> like, from Japan. Nobody's driving this car. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like on my nice fucking bagger, and I'm like looking at his car, and I'm like trying to get his attention. Like, hey man, I gotta save with thumbs up. He wouldn't look at. Him. I was like, what a fucking nerd. I think he's gonna rob him. Yeah, he's like, don't look at the biker. Yeah, <laughs> look at, I was like, dude, I'm trying to fucking give you a thumbs up, man. Like, it, it, shit was so nice. I want one bad, but like, I'm too fucking big for those cars now. Well, I mean, they're getting more and more popular. There's a, I mean, they're bringing over right hand drive uh, Supras, you know, the yeah. and the FD RX sevens. All that like shit that. used to be illegal, right? It's got a 25 year window to make okay. it legal. That's so right. you can bring it over if you do it before 25. I don't know the the every state's different too, by the way. Um, but yeah, I think it's 25 years. So that's why you're seeing the older, the 93s, yeah. you know, Supras are starting to make a big uh, mm. brought over here in the FDs and RX-7s and stuff like that. And you're seeing more R32s, not yeah. so much like the R34s. Dude, stuff, I want an R30, like R34s are the shit, but the only Skyline I've ever driven or worked on was an R32. That mm. was like some dude from the, he was in military and he had it shipped here. Yep. And I worked for a shop that was doing like a big turbo, all that shit on it. So like, I got to drive it to Jack in a Box once. <laughs> And order food, which was but crazy. That's what, but they going back hey. to what we, yeah. But, but going back to what we, uh, well, the only place I guess if you go to like one of those rallies or whatever, you know, they got the split window. Yeah. So you right hand drive cars go on this side and the left hands on that. But yeah, I mean that's what it is. It's just like the Americana stuff over in Japan is just insane. Just like you know, we we freak out when we see some JDM car or something going yeah. down the road. So just different cultures. Just what you're not used to. You know, when you see it, it's different, unique. It's cool. Never owned a vehicle without a V8. Piss red, white, and blue. Just Ella swap it. Yeah, so buy a right hand drive car and Ella swap it right out of the gate. So this camp out though. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the camp out. So after we get lunch in somewhere in that corner Panhandle. of Florida, I can't remember the yeah. name of the town. It's this cool little bar on a beach. Um, we're going to be riding down the camp out. We should get there between like 5 and 6 p.m., 7 p.m. On Saturday or Friday? Friday, Friday night. Friday. That's good. Um, what are we doing Saturday though? So Saturday is the only day I have to figure out what to do. And we don't have riding in Florida. Like you said, it's gonna be a lot like a giddy up event. Yeah. So it's just gonna be a lot of partying. But we'll go on a ride. Um, there's a lot of biker bars, but I know a lot of people aren't into drinking and riding. I am. I am There's, there's gonna be a thing. Yeah, we've seen your arrest record. <laughs> yeah. Um, Dude, if only it, the people that, I was wearing a TOL design shirt when I was <laughs> walking the line. Yeah. I was like, could you ask for better advertising? <laughs> That's I'm kind great. of like an influencer, bro. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, so I'm going to just put together a string of uh, cool biker-targeted restaurants and bars to kind of do a loop, kind of get back, because we really don't have to kill that much time. i got to entertain for one day on the road getting people to see cool stuff. Yeah. And it's North Florida. There's not a lot of cool stuff, but there is a lot of cool little biker spots. Um, this is one bar called The Loft up around that area. It's like... It's kind of like a Hooters, but it's like a single restaurant, but like every girl in there's hot as shit. And you're like, what is going on here? Like, and it's in the middle of the woods. It, it's just so a little diamond like in the rough. you have to pick those chicks up, or how does that work? Yeah, you have to have a mullet. That's okay. why I had a mullet for so long. Um, and you have to go in there um, just blaring like ACDC. Uh, mm -hmm. My buddies have hunting camps up there. I'm and in the they, Ted Nugent right now. Do you think that'll work? Like in a sex way? No. Oh. 
maybe Ted Nugent solo or like the damn Yankees Ted Nugent. I don't really know. I'm not that like dialed into like what was that, that what was that song we were listening to yesterday stranglehold stranglehold oh, yeah. he's in a stranglehold yeah. yeah i'm in a one song yeah, yeah the one song. <laughs> he's, in a, he's in a one song dude dude well no i like that i don't know it just fucking jams the song sounds like sweat and cocaine yeah what is that <laughs> probably saturday <laughs> i guess <laughs> it's definitely that time but yeah i'm gonna try to call ahead and make sure they're all staffed up because i think right now Judging by the t-shirt sales, I think we're looking at at least 50 people mm -hmm. and maybe north of that. Um, Cause I know a lot of people bought a shirt and then they're like, I'm bringing five people with me. And I'm like, oh shit, my numbers yeah. may be way off. But I think it's gonna be a good turnout. Cause when I threw it, I tested the waters first. Cause I was like, man, are people gonna show up? Cause well, nobody lives have, in Florida. Where did we have our talk about? Was it Sturgis? We're in Sturgis, yeah. we're in a uh, Deadwood. Yeah, at the bar, and I was like, "You guys were like, I don't think that's a good date." And I'm like, "Well, let's sit down and figure this out with a calendar." And then we're like, "Okay, that's probably the best date." Yeah, it's so. the weekend after. You know, they reopened up the uh, Thunder Beach the weekend before. Oh, did they? They brought it back to no. Actually, well, I think they, they Thunder Beach is uh, Panama. Panama City. Yeah, yeah. I put it this year. Um, they did it. There, it's October 24th, whatever. It's the weekend before Lone Star Rally this year got canceled in Galveston, so I figured that was a perfect opportunity to jump on those people that usually go to that, like the Texas people mostly. Well, a good thing is that if things, if all the other events that take place go back to their normal dates next year, then October is a much more wide open area, which would be a, a like maybe mid October would be a really great time. My only thing is I don't want to compete with V-Twin because a lot of people he that I want at, at the, the camp out are V-Twin. Yeah, the, the V-Twin stuff got Visionary, pushed back only yeah. because of COVID. But if you, if you look at the original flyers, those were actually, I think the Smokies was supposed to be in September, wasn't it? I think yeah, the original it's, flyer it's usually shows. like a like Labor Day weekend. Yeah. I think the original flyer showed early September. Yeah, I just don't because that's pretty much the same genre I'm shooting for. Is the same people that do the Smoky Tour. Mm -hmm. So all I know is uh, all the homies right now, currently while we're doing this, that are out there in Tennessee, mm -hmm. if they're not on my camp out, I'm unfollowing them on Instagram. Yeah, hundred mm -hmm. percent. Not, not even. Mm -mm. We're not friends anymore. Like I follow them on my second account, so they don't know it's me. <laughs> but I still get to like steal their ideas. <laughs> no, it's a uh, the the camp out thing makes a it. The way I like to look at it is, it's a way to uh, be a part of this big scene of bikes, right? And the camp out, like if you can you can go to V Twin Visionary and and it's a great place. It's probably going to be a great show, or you can go to Sturgis. But these places are so big that like, how do you find that pocket of homies from everywhere, right? So like for us, the camp outs worked and Steve's camp out worked and mm -hmm. yours is gonna work by bringing all these people together so that you make these like smaller pockets of like scenes and, and homies and friends and shit like that. And that's what happened to me. I've been on the road working for you know five, six years now. And uh, I didn't know a lot of people around the country until I started going to the camp outs. I heard about your camp out on a Sandoval video. The first one you guys did, he had you plug your podcast. I'm like, oh shit, there's a motorcycle podcast because that's all I do is listen to podcasts all day. And then I heard about the camp out and I was like, oh, I'll just show up, see what's up. So see, I went, that year you came, that was a pretty mem like historic year. <sighs> yeah. like, that's the first one we did, right? Like the second, second, was the second was one. A, the first one was a small like tryout kind of one. Wasn't well, that it? wasn't an actual like the first yeah. one that wasn't camp out. We just tried it out. That's where we all oh, got yeah, okay. so That's where the play. shirts, but the, you the went, you went no to the actual off. first one. No, right? second, second. Okay. So then I wasn't there. No, you weren't there. The, Cause I yeah, didn't meet you right. till I came. So we're, we're on here. four next year. We did three this yeah, year. Yeah, that's right. I think it just throws everybody off. Cause we did that half ass launch of it just to try it and make sure right. yeah but that was like that was the first camp out was september of 2018 the second camp out was april 2019 that's when i went 2020 to. was this year mm -hmm. blake you came up with blake from uh yeah. from uh new orleans pa pana pana hot hachi or something i can't remember the name of his town yeah um so i hit you up and i said is anybody coming from the east and you're like yeah my boy blake's coming from there and uh so i went there and I got a hotel the next morning. He met up with me at the hotel. And then we pounded like five or 600 miles together that day. Got there, partied that night. Um, not too, uh, well, he didn't go too hard. I don't want anybody to blame it on that. But let's, the next let's just day, be real clear. Like you came to the first camp out. Hell not, yeah, brothered out. I wouldn't say how, out. How tall were your apes? 16s. <laughs> <laughs> on your street glide. Dual like. exhaust, stretch bags. 
but in stock stretch bags. But that's all I knew. I didn't really know anything about this. Yeah, that was in the camera. Performance. Okay. Uh, it's my bad. Performance style thing. And then, um, <clears throat> and I really wasn't going to change my bike because I was done with my bike. It was yeah. already done. And I was like, well, yeah, I really like that. But my next bike, I'll do like that. And then <laughs> I met my friend Kenny in Florida, and uh, he has that, um, uh, what is it called? The Destroyer yeah. 114. Um, it's a 124 now, but it's sick bike, all and out, inverted front end. And that's the first guy I met in Florida with a performance bagger. I'm like, well, he can't have the only one in Florida now. Yeah. So then I had completely redid my bike again. So you've cost me a lot of money. <laughs> I feel like there's that, what's that meme where it's like that, that lady walking her kid and then don't look at the biker, Timmy. And then she, he walks off and becomes full. Yeah, he's all leathered <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah. I feel like that's you. Like, it, it happened. Yeah, yeah. I went from uh, what I know, which was bar hopping on the bike to, you know, ripping the Talamina and big roads like that. And just had a lot more fun doing that. And my bike, I was, not to sound cocky, I was out riding my suspension and stuff. And I was just dragging floorboards everywhere. And I had to do something to make it a little bit better because me and... Justin, my machinists have a, a a shit talking relationship, and we always go back and forth yeah. the whole time together. And you know, given he's on a much older bike, which shows how well of a rider he is, but it uh, so I had to like just keep doing stuff just to try to beat the shit out of Justin. Yeah, it's like my only goal. <laughs> and now my bike's burning oil like a motherfucker, and he keeps getting me off the whole shot, and it just pisses me off. <laughs> I think that's like it with a lot of bikes, though, because there's two bikes that came to Sturgis uh, with me. Well, one bike came to Sturgis, and the one he met in Little Rock that uh, within the past month, they've already gone performance to be ready for his. It happens, out. man. They it's were all, like hell yeah, brother, apes, you know, all that stuff. And they're sending me photos of like T-bars and short bags. Like and the goddamn coronavirus. And they're all, they're all excited <laughs> yeah, for this camp except out. it spreads it's faster. contagious, man. It's the Brona yeah. virus. Brona virus. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. Well, the thing about it, though, is... Um, it's not new, right? Performance mm. motorcycles has been a thing forever, but it feels new to us, and it feels like not that we're all the same age, but like our generation, meaning this time frame and, and that 20 to maybe 45 or 50-year-old range, we just don't really identify with that whole, like, get back whip and fringe and, well, you know, colored, like, matching fucking outfits like Power Rangers to your bike club bullshit. But all that, you know stuff, all that stuff really dates you too though you got to keep that in mind like when you build one of these bikes with the stretch bags and all that we look you... like we're having fun yeah and then oh, the performance bikes. yeah and that's what I'm i saying. remember it's dude i rode timeless. my bike up here yesterday I, I rode the i rode to work yesterday and i was like in my town walks at you down there and i was coming through and there was this dude that was at like a you know t intersection and uh i was on my bike and i was kind of looking over at him you know i have a helmet on he doesn't and he would not look at me like he would not, I was like, bitch, I know you want to look at my bike. It's clean. You're right. I am being arrogant there. Um, it's but, like my Olin's uh, set up on the rear. Yeah. Everybody look at my suspension. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> why I, I don't like having mine down low. Cause I want people to see it. Oh, but no, um, but this dude was like, his bike was like all blacked out, but it had like straight yellow highlights on it where he had a whip on it. He had like some yellow things here and there. And then his vest was black and yellow. His club was black and yellow. And it was like, it's like, man, like you don't look like you're you like you have to put on an outfit to go ride your bike when I feel like most of us, especially like this style of bike, like, yeah, it might, you might be wearing Dixon flannel and that's kind of part of the kit. But I also would wear this if I drove somewhere. Yeah. Like, are you going to wear your fucking black and yellow hat and your black and yellow vest and your black and yellow gloves and like pull your whip off your bike and put it on your mirror on your car? Like, are, are you going to do all that shit every time you like that's a you, yeah. you really have getting, an outfit. It's getting away from the cosplay side of the Harley thing. Yeah. Like, hey, go get your rings. We're going riding. <laughs> go no. <get> your rings. <laughs> I can't wear rings when I, when I ride. They like fall off like yeah. from the vibrations. Anyways, it's not comfortable. I just I, I feel like what's. Or I feel like more people are going to like adopt this more naturalistic way of riding bikes and just, you know, like, don't get me wrong. Like there's a look too. like people see the Dixon flannels, they see the vans or whatever shoes it is. And they're like, oh, man, that's a cool looking outfit. We all do that. You know what I'm saying? Like as men, like we're all men like, like you said, yeah. you can wear it through anything. You can yeah, wear yeah. it crush it. to a birthday party to, you know, but this what? is usually how like, you know, not saying like. Um, not saying that everybody dresses this way because Dixon Flannel's only been around for you know seven years Three, now. Yeah. So, 
they've been around for seven years. So seven, you know, eight, ten years ago, what were, what, I know not everybody on the East Coast was wearing flannels like this. Yeah, you know what I mean. But who's to say it's dope? It's cool. I fuck with it. I'm ready so. to move up north because I got like a like a whole winter supply of flannels now. Like yeah, you live in Florida, dude. Fresh I own as hell. three. I, I no, I own two Dixon flannels, and they're from 2018. I have more. F- Dicks and flannels, then cold days in Florida. Yeah, I saw the one you pulled up and I got that one. I was like, glad I didn't pack that one. I didn't want to come rolling up on yeah, the same one. Yeah, so wearing. I have two of them that are old. I want more. It's just like. Oh, I saw Jaden rocking this one. I've honestly. I was like, yeah, I'm getting that I've one. honestly yeah. been trying to find flannels that are the same quality, that are a different brand, just so I don't have to end up accidentally matching with everybody. But it's like, I can't find ones that have the same kind of uh, like, like texture or fabric mm-hmm. or whatever. So it's like. It doesn't wrinkle and it looks crisp all the time and it's like and they have tall sizes yeah which is and and they run a, a little like the sizes guys. themselves run a little bigger yeah too, i like so the fact that the only thing that i wear in my life that's xl is a dixon flannel right now <laughs> <laughs> so thanks danny for making me feel good about yeah. myself yeah no but like i said it's a look man it's a style and like i mean think about it like this style of bike is making more is inspiring more people to wear helmets when they ride right because it's part of the look it's right the and if you're gonna pound miles cross country you have to wear a helmet yeah i mean you'll just you'll be dead like, after 300 I miles love it. just the wind Dude, kicking the shit out of it you it just it just it just like inspired this thought that I've, I've had this conversation we might even have it today when we get to strokers in a little bit when you pull up and we're like what kind of shoes you guys got on? i got vans you got them chucks i got cowboy boots on all right so jesse's not in this conversation but so <laughs> we'll pull up you'll have those on but we all wear helmets right so we're gonna pull up with our helmets on and then literally some fucking nerd that doesn't wear a helmet's gonna walk up and go, "You ride that bike with those shoes?" Yeah, oh, I got. They're not over the ankle, or they're not. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. not boots. Like you're more worried about your fucking foot than your goddamn fucking head, dude. Well, it's like those memes where you see uh, what was it? The memes going around where the guys on a motorcycle wearing face masks but yeah. no helmet. Yeah. You know they're more yeah. worried about the COVID, but don't give are a there, shit. Are there people bringing their masks down to smoke a cigarette? It's like you kind of like half-assing one safety thing and then full half assing another safety thing well the worst the worst part is like those days that like you jump outside and i don't know if you get this in florida much but i know you probably get up there when it's like 40 degrees right and you got a helmet on it's blocking all the wind but there's some fucking dude out there with a leather jacket on no helmet no he's got helmet. Got, yeah. he's got a beanie on though it's like dude wear a fucking helmet like nobody's looking at you going that biker's hot you know what i mean it's not it's not a thing anymore man yeah. i'm gonna be honest the the safety part of wearing a helmet is the least uh, reason to wear reason it. it's I wear so much helmet. more comfortable yeah. it I, a i wear it to block the wind b sunburns c it looks cool and then like d you got headset like, you got z music, i'm like you got... oh and it helps you if you crash like that's yeah. the last thing that well, i've had a bad crash. my sport bike days i had a horrible crash on the highway where i was mid flight and all that i still got the helmet that i was wearing that day oh yeah and uh I mean, it is trash, but I wouldn't be here. I guarantee you 100% I wouldn't be here if, it, if I didn't have that helmet on. Yeah, speaking yeah. of Blake, going back to that, if he had any less of a helmet than that Simpson, he would not be here. Yeah. He still cracked his skull, but can you imagine if he was wearing that a half been, helmet yeah, or something? That would have he would have been, been a completely much different done. situation, yeah. I mean, that was, that, was a, that was a bad thing, but I don't know if we got into that. But yeah, Blake came out with us and um, he went down on the first day. Talamina. Yeah, yeah, on the Talamina the was first the f- day. I think it was Saturday. Yes. Yeah, that was the big Yeah, because I think we only had, that was when we only did Friday and Saturday. And then we left on Sunday. So we only really rode one day. I'm still on the fence whether I should keep doing it Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I think so. If we're going to travel that far, we need to do it. I almost did mine an extra day, but I was like still on the fence of how is this going to work out? Are people going to come? And then when I put the feelers out there with those couple posts, like, hey, would anybody be interested in this? Got a lot of positive feedback. And I'll, honestly, I was like, dude, if 15 people show up, I'd be stoked. Yeah, but yours, be is, yours is kind of an extra day with the extra travel day. And we have a spot that we're meeting at Thursday night. Right, so right. I mean, in theory, some people that want to do yeah. the extra day. So, so have the, the reason why I ended up on mine doing Thursday, Friday, Saturday was the fact that like, for you, if like for, at, the, at the time before COVID happened, because we did our camp out, Two right weeks after, yeah. after everything, probably two or three weeks after everything got shut down nationwide. The COVID camp out, because we were and worried about getting there. Everybody, like, like there was blocks. all this, like, uh, this, uh, see, he's doing it again. That's what, so huh? got fired the last Why time. Why don't you focus on podcasts and not worry about what the fuck I'm doing? Because you're supposed to be focused on the podcast. Uh, so what, what happened was, I'm like, I was. Mom. 
fuck up. <laughs> you better not. <laughs> better not. Um, I don't know. Lost my trot. This is your the, the reason why you did it. God damn it, Jesse! The, hey, this the motherfucker lost his trot. COVID started Thursday. Also, like, uh, well, we had talked about doing it Thursday because originally there was like these groups of people coming from like Northern Cali. Uh, I had some people reach out from like Washington, Oregon, shit like that. They said they wanted to come, and they were, you know, they would tag me like, "Hey, man, we're looking for people who's riding from here." And then, but this was like the beginning of April. So I mean, in April, our Most camp was the twenty sixth. Our, our camp out was April 26th last year, or this year, this past year. And um, everything like got shut down nationwide, like the beginning of April. Mm -hmm. Like Texas was open. Uh, I know Daytona got shut down. Arkansas all shut down about end, yeah. of April, uh, end of March is when we I all went like, to tattooing Daytona and everything. Got and it was like the one day everything was okay. And like the next yeah, they day shut they down like, mid, started mid, shutting down. Mid, uh, mid rally, I think. Yeah. Well, and then shut it down, but everyone, no one Still left. did whatever. So, you know, like a lot of people, there was a lot of, uh, nobody knew what the fuck was really going on because there was all this shit saying like people thought that there was border checking, like people at yeah. every border crosses. Like I did see a few just being traveling on the road for yeah. work. Um, they didn't bother with the trucks, but they were pulling in cars into the scale houses to check temperatures and stuff like that, which I liked because I didn't get an overweight ticket that whole time because <laughs> all the scale houses were shut down. But they were, and I was worried about being on the bike. Like, are they gonna pull me in and be like, "Are you traveling for fun?" Like, so I, I, I put some routes together going around those scale houses on the way there just to be safe. Yeah, so but I went the long way this year. I just don't think how that, I don't see how that's even possible though for you to literally block the entire road. Like, if it, you know, when you go into California, they got those uh, produce blocks right mm. then you go in you got to check everything do you have any agricultural stations agri yes yeah. is that what it is so it's like that there's always a fucking line for five or six miles just to do that yeah but they they're doing that like in australia real big like if you're trying to go between like uh i don't know i guess it's sydney to melbourne or whatever well, if you're not going for work reasons you can't go into the next i don't know what they call it states or yeah yeah they, they won't even they have but it's all the way across the whole entire highway literally shutting it down and checking everyone you have to have a special credential to show them like we, uh, we had body. to have that with uh driving we had to have a <laughs> whatever it's called a I have priority. 93 dixon flannels yeah there's from comments from. up there i, I was uh, messaging back kano he said oh shit did someone say strokers later hey chris yes sir come on out hey chris i'm gonna need a couch tonight you, you game <laughs> <laughs> but no that 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 was kind of the the thing is um i had a lot of people that were gonna come we still had a, our biggest turnout ever um which was great but the the one thing that happened at our camp out this year that I wasn't really happy with is that uh, I want people to camp together. It clicked together. up. Then it clicked up, it and clicked I don't I don't want year, that yeah. to happen. So like this year, and and it might be a thing where people are gonna like get pissed off about that. But I'm doing this for a reason because the point of this is to meet people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And if you're gonna come here and you're gonna ride from wherever you are and you're gonna go make a little your own little fire in the corner somewhere. With the same people you either rode with or yeah, yeah like you're not point? gonna you're expand not your 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 connection with people, you know. And part of the camp out, or uh, probably fifty percent of these camp outs, yours, Steve's, mine, the PA camp out, PA, yep. is about going to it, right? Like I get it. Some people are like, "Oh man, I think I'm gonna we're gonna load the bikes in the in the fifth wheel and come down." And like, cool. I'm glad you're coming. Awesome but you're missing 50% of what this is about. So I, this dude um, I met on Instagram, he was like, um, I think I bought something off of him. And then he's like, I'm going to Steve's camp out too. I'm like, cool, I'll meet you there. We'll party, you know, get it done. He went to Steve's camp out and then he, he uh, nothing against him, but he, he uh, never like came over and said hi or anything. He's like, oh, I just kind of hung out with my friends over there. I go, you could have did that in a garage where you're from. Like yeah. you didn't have to come all that way yeah. and not party with us. Like it should be, uh, where you come to meet friends. And this is why I haven't invited a lot of people from my hometown to my camp out, if anybody, because I want to give all my attention to these new people and I want to make friends and connections all around the country, which every weekend now you notice I go and I'm in a different state and I have a little time off and I go hang out with another friend. And it's just, 
you know, through these campouts, I've made so many friends all around the country, and it's it's literally changed my life. So that's why I was like, well, I want right. to throw my own camp. That's out. what it's all about is yeah. Building, yeah. building friendships with new yeah. people across you know the whole. And, country. and it doesn't even have to be the campouts. A lot of you know, I met Craig uh, <clears throat> through Tony's anniversary party. I don't remember that at Rebel, Rebels Den. Well, we were drinking like, White Claws oh, together. I don't remember that. <laughs> we were drinking White Claws on the tent in Texas, by the way. But uh, doing donuts in my Peterbilt. <laughs> yeah. So and uh, and so. Uh, Kyle and all them were down and yeah so uh, you know it's not just that I mean just anything motorcycle community period you know don't don't be afraid and I think it's when you were talking with the uh, Houston crew on the podcast um, and you were talking about like you don't fuck with local bike nights you, you want to do a bike night that's going to take you 100 miles away or well or, it's not the bike night it's, it's not the, the bike but it's the, the bike event rides. yeah yeah you, you know want to I mean? go somewhere you, you know you don't want to just jump on your bike and hop to the, the bar that's around the corner that you could do in your car you want to yeah. travel somewhere meet new people whatever and uh, and that's what this was about this is why I wanted to come down you know I've seen you I've met you uh, but I've never really had conversations with you but you know when we were in Sturgis and met all the crew and you know at the little bar making well so that's another thing like so Sturgis is another example so um and, and I get worked up and I'm you know I apologize to everybody that 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 I do this to but like I'm such a host-minded person right like I want everybody to you're people pleaser you know I you want, want people yeah. to experience this the way that I have right like, I don't even care. Like, I think the first time I took Jesse to San Francisco, I still took him through the same route that I would take every other biker mm -hmm. that went there mm -hmm. with me so they see the bridge the same way the first time and blah, blah, blah. Like, when we went up to Battery yeah. Spencer and shit. Like, I'm all about showing you the things that I found to be amazing for myself, right? So I get, you know, whenever you're trying to, it's kind of like when you take somebody to your favorite restaurant because this fucking place has the best enchiladas yeah. and they were a fucking burger, right? <laughs> yeah. Defeats the purpose, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like, dude, like, no, 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 no. It's you like, yeah, you don't understand why we're here. This or is, like you this bring is, a, do, you do your favorite steakhouse and they get it well done. Fuck off. <laughs> like, yeah, and then they put sauce on yeah. it. Yeah, let me get some, you got, you got A1? Dude, me and my wife cooked steak the other night and she went and bought steaks and everything. We She marinated and I, I, I did like a, I've been watching YouTube videos to like do like a, a I guess a reverse sear or sear whatever the fuck I don't know. Yeah, yeah, just We're on the, on the in iron the, skillet. Yeah, seal yeah. In the uh, the yeah. It was, I cooked it good. It was probably more medium on mine because it was a thicker steak. Uh -huh. Hers was probably more medium well. Um, but then I'm like, all right, cool. Where's the A1 sauce at? And she goes, I didn't get any. I was like, I literally felt it come out. <laughs> like I was going to like. <laughs> Take the other hand, push it back down. Went to the garage to grab the get back whip. <laughs> I just went and played with the. I don't know, man. I just. I was like, I almost beat my wife. Yeah. And now we're demonetized for sure. <laughs> Here we go. I think that stuff still flies in America, right? No. no? Oh, shit. <laughs> Is that frowned upon? I'm moving. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what's frowned upon anymore. Every week. But no, it so that's the point about the campouts. That's the point about. All this shit, and uh, I think that I get so wrapped up in wanting people to experience it this way mm -hmm. because it did change my life as well, and it's changed everybody else. I think a lot of people's lives that have really completely accepted uh, camping Jesus Christ. as their uh, Lord camping. and Savior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> T bars as their Lord. And Savior, yes. Right? So, but but it gets to that point where it's like you know, like Sturgis, for instance. Everybody's like, "Hey, we're going to Sturgis. Where are you going to be at?" I'm like. We're going to be at this campground. I told you this shit three months ago, four mm -hmm. months ago, six months ago. Come to this camp out mm -hmm. or this campground. It's going to be like the other ones. It was no. free. It was no. free for a couple people. For you, maybe. Justin, <laughs> Justin got away with like 35 bucks the entire yeah, time. Yeah, Justin paid for one night. And Adam, the time. other guy was with us. My stupid ass bought me and my wife like the four-day pass, 200-something bucks. I was coming and going as I pleased. They just thought I was there. Because we when we showed up originally. Craig was already there. So the the dudes at the front saw him come in and out with us all the time. So they just assumed he was with us. They, yeah, they, bought, the, the they bought the $35 wristband. They would just do this real quick. I had a wristband on from my campsite. Yeah. So the thing was that, like, I, you know, people would be like, hey, man, we're here in Sturgis. Where are you at? I'm like, dude, this isn't a place where we meet up and like, hey, I want to meet you because I listen to your podcast. Like, I got 20 people I'm entertaining right now. Yeah, dude, like you got, you could have camped here, yeah. right? But you wanted to stick with your hell brother crew over here because hell you're brother. not. Hell brother. Hell brothers. Hell brothers. Hell brothers. You're movie, not, isn't it? That's hell boy. <laughs> yeah, hell boy. Because, you, you know, like maybe they're, in, they're, they're, I wouldn't say insecure, but maybe they're just kind of nervous about completely putting themselves in a vulnerable situation to come hang out with us. The fucking dude, I forget his name, but I just saw him again. In goddamn uh, Brooklyn, they rode his road glide all the way from uh, New Jersey, I believe. I think it was like. Was he with us? Yeah, yeah, he, he camped right next to you. He had a road glide, like an older one. Cool ass dude. 
Lone Wolf? No, Lone Wolf was he was from the West. He was from the uh, Chicago area. That's what he said. Yeah. But no, <laughs> the West. <laughs> What's up with him mm. in, in West in general? Any yeah. kind of West Everything, direction? Everything's I, West. Like, everything, yeah, the Mississippi, West anything of the Mississippi is what he's trying yeah. to say. Um, nah, I fucking forgot his name. I feel bad. So he's cool as shit, man. Real good dude. But this dude rolled solo all the way. Camps, he he heard it. He came and camped with us and partied with us. And he's fucking re raised, dude. <laughs> he's Hell yeah. Really, you know what I mean? It's like, dude, just do I'm that. I'm trying to remember. I know I probably know. I, I know his name's on the tip of my later, tongue. But. You know what I mean? So I stayed an extra night after you guys already packed up and started heading to Wyoming. Uh, we stayed an extra night. Man, the campground, like the tone of the campground, when y'all cleared out that whole spot. Yeah. And I remember me and my wife came pulling back up on it, and there was just our little tent there and nothing else. It was like a desert town. It was definitely uh, much better. So, having, you know, we, we stayed at the down. same camp out, uh, campsite we did. Yeah. Yeah. The and location y'all picked was like That prime. location I mean, it was, was like fucking awesome. So, we, right we there. actually camped. You know where we, me and you camped at? We actually camped right across the little. So, so instead of being on the left, we were on the right? So we, were we were in so between. Close to the bar. Okay, we were, so you were in the middle then. Yeah, so right? in the then bathrooms and right the, the bar. bar yeah, so you just go up that little hill right there. Dude, that hill can be a challenge. It was perfect. It was sometimes. It was perfect. Yeah. That was a good spot, man. And it's right there at the highway, so you don't have to go into town and out of town. You don't have to worry about that. You could literally, like, I walked to the Sturgis a couple times, mm. or just to the main part of what was going on. Just, just to watch I, and look. Yeah, because yeah. I knew I was going to get fucked up, and I was like, I, then it was, like, getting later in the day. They start, You know how they start getting on your ass? Like, you even stumble a little bit, they'll fucking pull you over. Mm. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just walk. It's like a mile, and just go down there and get trash. And so that's what's dope about it is it's so close, and it's also, like, there's a bar on the fucking well, spot. And that, so, yeah. that and this probably one of the only campgrounds that actually has like shade trees. I think the like yeah, the Iron yeah. Horse and all those other ones, they clear it's just an open field and you're just out in the sun. See, that's what, so that, that's the thing about that Camp Zero that all these fucking uh, Instagram nerds want to go to. Mm. I camped there with Steve. It was horrible. I hated it. Yeah, It was a field. It's Camp Zero because it's it has dusty, zero it's, amenities. Yeah. There's <laughs> nothing there. It's like, oh, you just, and it's funny because it's like, oh, kudos, to, kudos to kudos uh, to the the chip for you know, making this camp campground for everybody that's kind of more on the uh, going to Sturgis on the budget. Mm. But it's like they also did a good job marketing it because they used everybody that's from the West Coast or the other side of the Rockies. That so what has, is that? Like, is that media. chips like cheaper? Yeah. Resort? Okay. Guess and the, so like they yeah. all the go fast, don't die dudes from Wyoming and all those guys are over there and they're doing like mini bike things and shit like that. But which is cool. Don't get me wrong. That's just funny. We, we just we witnessed some of that shit at Sandoval's this past weekend. But Dude, I don't want to ride. If I go fucking the the um, Deadwood, I don't want to ride two Sturges and then have to go through Sturges stop yep, signs every time to get back to my campsite, which is in a field Dusty, with no trees. Dirt, yeah, that's it. That those stop signs are a damn field test. There's nowhere to buy beer out there. There's one gas station. It's probably sold out because every fucking other big, massive Walmart sized campground. Well, is a lot out of those there. campgrounds you can't even. They check you. You can't even bring outside beer. Well, the, I think the really the, the chip you can't. Yeah, I think you can at uh at the ground zero ground zero and shit. Yeah, the but chip you have to buy and the chip. So a lot of people went there because they you know it, when me and Steve and I've said this a million times. There's nothing against those guys from Go Fast Don't mm -hmm. Die whatever their thing is. Um, they're all solid dudes, but their crowd seemed to be more interested in the persona. social media personas than actually living this life of their t-shirts mm -hmm. in a sense. I know that it's Grady does. Plugs. I know Grady does. I, I've seen him in action. This dude's do it, but he's he's got a lot of people that just kind of seem to follow him. Yeah. And like we were all sitting around a campfire, and I, I remember because I was starting to get real fucking like uh, boomerish, <laughs> if you will, because I'm, I'm older than a lot of those dudes. And so I'm sitting around the fire, and me and Steve were just pulled up. We just ripped fucking 600 miles to get to Sturgis. We just got fucked up at Buffalo Wild Wings with the Thunder Max guys. We finally get to the campsite, and we're ready to fucking party. And we come up, and everybody's sitting around a fire on their phone. Right. That's that drives me nuts. And I'm like, don't get me wrong. You can be on your phone or whatever, but nobody's, like, talking to anybody. Nobody's, like, saying anything mm -hmm. about something going on. It's There's until they're like, hey, you guys want to do something that would look really cool in pictures? Exactly. And so yeah. what happened was that dude Grady walked up and goes, hey, let's make a jump real quick and jump these mini bikes. Everybody just like a switch went off and they had energy and enthusiasm. And I'm like, y'all are gay. Yeah. That's gay. Like, dude, we should all be partying right now. We should all be living yeah. this experience. Show up. me your butthole. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> let's get this shit going. Ooh, speaking of butthole, you remember that? Were you there for that girl dancing on the pole on our table? The kicked Which all the one? beers. The one with the hairy um, area? Snatch? 
It was coming out of her shorts, man. It was bad. Was like, it the one I got the video of? The, the yeah, inner yeah, one? Her, yeah, yeah, her, yeah, yeah. Dude, me and Ashley, Cody's wife, were sitting across from each other, and we were, like, watching her, and then it was, we both spotted at the same time, just looked at each other, like, oh, you see that, too? Like, it was... Larry was trying to bang gross. her. No, Larry was trying to bang the, the old lady. One. She was, he was trying to bang the grandma. We're talking about the young one. Before one. You got oh, there. you're talking about the fucking pole dancer chick? Yeah. yeah. She wasn't horrible, but she was raised by wolves, I believe. <laughs> She jumped up and, and just took control of the, the bowl. Same she was the one that was sitting across from our campsite that was twirling the baton. Yeah. 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 The, yeah we were convinced she was on like ecstasy or something. She didn't have a shirt on when she was doing that, if I believe. She did. I don't think anybody saw her boobs. Huh. No, grandma was the one that, that Larry kept making out with. And then uh, at one point. Her brother like was grabbing her Wait, ass. Larry, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Her yeah. brother. Does he? There's some shit going on. And then, oh, uh, yeah. 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 Oh, I forgot about that brother. Yeah, you switch it. I'm going to go pee. Tell him the story. I don't really remember the whole story, but like the brother was there. It was almost like he was her pimp, though, because he was like kind of like. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's my sister. That's my she's, sister. She's yeah. a little crazy. And he. Like pushing her along. Yeah, yeah, pushing her along to like. Yeah. Be in our little circle. Yeah. Like, it's my sister. And this is after, her, this is after the table this size has three stacks of beer cans all the way across it. Not this size. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It was three of Almost these. Almost a link to this. Yeah, one. I saw the Instagram uh, Dude, that videos was and shit. Hard fucking work. Yeah, I like thought we were on vacation. We put a lot of beers down. There. Well, I was sitting across from Larry. Larry's the one who gave her permission to kick all the cans. I didn't know that. Yeah. So everyone got I mad. Would've, I would have personally been the girls very were mad. Pissed about. Well, he made it as a joke. He was saying something like, "You know, if you show your tits," because she she walked up and oh, whispered in his ear. Oh, she showed her tits as she kicked down the she beers. Was, well, that's because everyone was booing her. I mean, what would you do if everyone was booing the you? The girls were pissed, and we're just, I was laughing so hard. I'm looking at Jace, who has a camera, and I'm like, you're not going to take a picture of this? He's just like, I'm living this moment. Like, yeah, I don't think anybody pulled yeah. their phones out. No, none of us did. None of us. We're like, until we after want, we left, we're like, what? No one captured We didn't that? want to miss it. We were like, we were like oh, this all is no, amazing. All the moment. But I'm like, man, I wish I had that on I mean, camera she was now. picking cans up and throwing them at random people Kicking literally them throwing all why were they booing her and they were going she was going because fuck she's a you and had grandma tits she pulled her tits out and was she doing was all like, stuff and nobody wanted to see it like it, oh, so it wasn't nothing she's sexually flattered. harassing the entire bar I don't think that we didn't want to see it okay. <laughs> I didn't want to see it <laughs> they're boobs I don't care how old you are I want to see them the old Ron I mean, White that old, them titties. no I don't want to see old that old that Ron man. White stand up where you talked about yeah yeah no matter if you've seen one you want to see them all yeah that yeah, one might want to see these see. Nah. Hell yeah. Roll them right, up. Roll them up. <laughs> <laughs> roll them up. <laughs> but now nah, she, uh, Larry made a joke with her and she's like, I, she just whispered in his ear. She's like, I want to knock one of those, I want to knock those cans over. And Larry just kind of leaned back and just said, you know, you show your tits, you can kick some of the cans over, something like that. Which is the same girl that the saying, I want no dick came from. What did her shirt say? What did her shirt say? Her shirt <laughs> said, <laughs> It said something. It was something that went along with uh, Cano's shirt. No, J Jones' shirt. It said something shirt. about Grandma. No, Cano's shirt. <laughs> Grandma's gone wild. That's what it was. I think it said Grandma's gone wild, didn't it's it? Gone wild. But the night before, she had a different shirt on that went with like. Cano's but she had like her just shirt. underwear with some leather chaps. No, Cano had that shirt, something like uh, I'm not I'm missing go down right, on. but I'll fuck you till he shows up or something like that. that. And then I think he has the I'll go down on your sister one too or some shit. Maybe. <laughs> wild. Maybe he'll tell us in the in the chat. Oh, wait, where's Kenna? Oh, shit, did somebody say strokers? I like my talking. beer like I like my violence domestic. <laughs> <laughs> Kerr's yeah, lat, brother. <laughs> Kerr's lat. Oh, Trenton's on there, too. Oh, man. But no, that that uh, that spot, like, for Sturgis, that's where um, next year when we go, That's I want to say in that 100%. same. 100%. That, yeah. that was perfect. I mean, the shout. And that, I don't know if it, you've been there before, so I don't know if it was COVID or what, but. I was, I was talking to other people about it. I was like, man, anytime I went to the bathroom, the shower is yeah, always clean. Always Everything clean. was like Yeah, it was clean like that when up. we were over there. It had the fucking laundry uh, room. Yeah, I used to come the over. The food truck was tight. I mean, it was good. Yeah. Every morning I get a breakfast sandwich yeah. up there, eat something What good. year did we go? 2017? 18. 2018? S 17, my it was, it was like. The yeah. first year oh, I had the FXR. Yeah, because I had literally just turned 21. No, yeah. it, was a, it was a. Wait, how old are you? I'm 25. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. I look way older because all the. Are we allowed to cuss All the. All the. Disappointments. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. was it like shooting that scene where you went into the semi truck? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that at first. I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> well, that that's the point of the thing is like you, you know you're trying to convey, hey man, if, if for all the people out there that have been to Sturgis, we figured out a, a great place. If you want to come party with us, then this is where to come. Yeah. 
And then it's like every day, like, hey, man, I'm in Sturgis. want to meet up. I want to say hi to you. I want to do this. I want to do that. And I'm like, all right, where are you staying at? Oh, we're at the Pappy Hole campground. I was like, why aren't you staying here? It's like, yeah. come on, bro. It's one cheaper. Dude. I think the only downside is you can't have a campfire, but that's because of all the trees on the shirt. One dude rode from California by himself, the truck driver. Yeah, um, yeah. California, right? Yeah. I, I think I had, I said, like, hey, man, meet Craig. He's yeah, yeah. Driver. The trucking thing. But yeah, that's pretty crazy. He came out there by himself and just like showed up and just wanted to party. Yeah. That's badass. It's just crazy that a podcast or something that can make you do things that you wouldn't normally do. Mm -hmm. It's I think that's what it's all about. Just motivating people to get out sure, there and do stuff. Hole, things like I, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Butthole stuff. See them smokes. Dude, we need to get <laughs> I need to get microphone or uh, headphones for everybody. Mm -hmm. It feels so weird not having it because you hear everything with the headphone. It's so much easier to focus on conversations with the headphones. Yeah. Oh really? Mm -hmm. yeah. I got ADD bad. I probably yeah, me it. too. Well, it's like when you have the headphones on, like you 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 get all the little small like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, and it's like it kind of goes with the conversation and the narrative a lot. So it doesn't sound like so much dead air in between. You almost hear well, the no, sounds. Well, no, it's not really that. It's just like because oh, if I mumble something real quiet yeah. in there, uh, oh, you might not pick it up. Yeah, but if you got headphones on, they do. Yeah, you like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes it a lot more nuanced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so no, that's the point. Is like to to get people to come to these things, but to just maybe be a little bit more accepting that we figured out what to do for you guys. Yeah, the XR so. show. So like before I went to your first camp out, I have never crossed the state line on a motorcycle. Uh -huh. And that was what, a year and a half ago? Mm -hmm. And since then I've ridden to Texas five times, ridden to Michigan, rode my bike to Sturgis solo mm -hmm. via Michigan and back to Little Rock now it's like my bike doesn't even see Florida anymore. My longest ride back then was 500 miles a few times down to Key West. That's the first I went. But now I got this like bug where I see a thousand miles. I'm like, I could do it in a day. Yeah. I, it's like almost feel like teleporting, especially coming from such a slow truck with all these freaking. I mean, that's a lot. Of Have you not heard about teleporting? No. Yeah, that's an OG joke oh. for this podcast. Oh. So what you do is you pull your dick out. <laughs> <laughs> Then you, all right. All everybody's got to touch tips, and then boom, we go to we go to Narnia. You have to have at least oh. at least three. Oh, it's like Captain America with the yeah. rings. But no, dicks. that's that's yeah. a planet, planet, Captain planet. So it's not Captain docking. Planet. It's just yeah. teleport. We huh? translated that joke into just putting your front tires on your bike together. Yeah. So it's not so gay. Oh, okay. We yeah. can make it gay. But anyway, you I'm said teleport. <laughs> you said teleport, so it kind of put me in this like mood mood <laughs> <laughs> the lights aren't helping man uh, for now when i want you to come out and party i'm just gonna call you and whisper teleport yeah that's actually gonna work <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying about oh riding cross straight state line yeah now shit. i look at that many miles as like oh dude i can get there pretty quick yeah but like you know in a trucker's mind you're like with electronic logs and all that stuff you're like well that's a two-day drive this and that but like i hop on the bike i'm there yeah so it's it's cool that it opened up like I want to do a California trip. I just want to split lanes legally. I just want to try it. Yeah. It sounds fun. I mean, it, my crash bars are going to catch every fucking time. That, that was kind of. <laughs> Trent said, that's <laughs> yeah, how I'm caught getting, the damn poles. Trent said, that's hotel. how I'm getting to yeah, Florida. caught the poles in the hotel roof last night. What's that? Trent said, that's how I'm getting to Florida. He's talking about us teleporting. Teleporting. I thought, <laughs> I thought he was riding on the back of my bike. Dude, I, I thought he was riding on the back of my so, bike. Oh, Kyle Jive at Honky like, uh, pulled up last night. And we, for some reason, we all kind of thought that uh, Trent was going to jump in the uh, car with Kyle. And Trent wrecked, and he's his legs all fucked up right now. Um, so we just felt like, what we say, Jesse? Like, <laughs> that bad uh, oil. <laughs> we thought we thought Trent was going to be on the back of uh, Kyle's, Kyle's bike, bike when and he, then like he pulled up. Kyle pulls up to the front door, and then I just felt like Trent was going to like reach around like this. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Cause like he's all uh, fucked up, so I thought he was gonna be like strapped to fucking Kyle or some shit like that, you know? Leg elevated. Yeah, and then Kyle pulled up and didn't have Trent on the back. You can see uh, all the fucking fuzz on my back. Yeah, that's what we were trying to tell you earlier, dude. I tried. And then uh, he pulls up and Trent's not on the back, and he didn't say anything. And I was like, dude, he missed a great opportunity to make a fucking joke. Like he could have just pulled up and looked behind him and freaked out, you know? Oh fuck, where's Trent? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's funny. But no, the. Uh, I'm trying to, that's why I was kind of uh, in the mix of um, trying to figure out Florida, whether riding or not, because I, I want to try to ride to California in December. Oh, bad. Trent said, why Fuck. didn't I do there that? There goes my Christmas. Hold on. Hmm. Get trying space. to go to California? I want to do it. I want to say that I've done coast to coast. 
See, that's what I'm trying to do this year because actually being in Long Island, New York, and seeing the Atlantic Ocean 100%, and then riding back here, and then like going to all the way to California, which for me also would work out because I could do podcasts while I'm out there and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, but you can do a work trip. Yeah, and that's the that's the main goal. And it's a write off. I mean, everything's right off for me. Yeah, because you live your job. So basically. it's like a. So yeah, so I was like, ah, oh, man, you know, because I, I got one more trip out of my tires right now, and then I need new tires, right? So I do Florida, but then I need new tires before I do the Cali thing. You sell oh. your motor yet? Yeah, sold it. Nice. I need fucking tires. That was a good price. Before I, go I almost jumped on it because I was like, I'd love to have two motors to get one going while the other one's getting built used, being yeah. used. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I thought it was a good price. Like I said, I like, when I when I sell things, I, I try to put it at a price where it's like, don't bitch, right? Don't haggle me, right? I'll raise the price on you, motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I sell, like, look, this is a good price. It's got a cam. It's got everything. It does have mileage on it, but it's a good running motor. So, mm -hmm. you know, what do you think I'm gonna give it to you for six hundred dollars, motherfucker? Yeah. Calm down. Right. You know what I mean? Seven. So that's what a lot of people were hitting me up like, hey man, how much you want to sell that motor for? I was like, I'm thinking about selling for about two grand shipped. Right. That's good. Yeah. Shipping's probably a couple hundred, isn't it? Yeah, a couple hundred bucks, depending on where you're at. Mm -hmm. And like, oh man, I was, you know, I don't know if I want to spend that much. It's got a lot of mileage on. It. I'm like, bitch, you're buying a fifty thousand mile Evo motor for twenty two hundred bucks, right? Mm -hmm. But you don't want to buy a thirty seven thousand or thirty seven thousand mile M eight motor that has a cam and all this other shit in it that still runs fine. Yeah, like calm down. It's dude. one of those things, like, like how much, dude? If you have to ask, you can't afford it. Well, there goes seventy five percent of everything I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the same way. When I get ready to sell something, I just want to move it. I don't want to give it away, but I don't want to sit there and, and have to. I usually have it. give my shit away because I'm not a very good salesman, and I feel guilty selling stuff to people. Nah, this T-shirt thing like took me. So I was like, man, this is too expensive, and but I need to sell. I had to sell like twenty five T-shirts to break even. Yeah, and I was like, "Well, anything after that, I don't want to make a profit." So I'm like, "Well, I'll take that money and maybe throw it down on beer or keg yeah. or some, put it back See, into the campout." That's tube what I lights because I don't know if they're gonna have lights out there. And the difference between the Fast Life campout and the Up North campout is lighting. Yeah, we have no lights up the Up North. It's a blast, but we trip a lot. Trip, and it's <laughs> like it's pitch black. We're tripping over each other. We're having conversations, and we're like, "Who are you?" Like lighting lighters in people's faces. <laughs> And the tube lights, like going through the trees, really is a mood change. You're talking about like the, uh, like the. Um, you know, Sandoval has those lights, like you have. They're, uh, what are those things called? Those fucking like patio light type things. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you mean like the little hangle, hanger, hanger hang, hang lights, yeah. the twinkle lights? I they think. make construction like Edison ones lights that you can bring tree yeah. to tree. Yeah. And I'm just going to get some of those if they don't. Because I called them and said, Do you guys have lighting where we'll be camping? And they're like, We're still renovating that area. We'll let you know in a couple of weeks but if not you know i'm gonna take that money and put it back into the camp out because you know i don't want to turn a profit on it i just want it to be awesome so that's the thing like i've, I've been having a lot of people wanting to reach out and sponsor the camp out right mm -hmm. but i don't then you got to act a different way no so this is the this is you know what i'm thinking about doing is i'm thinking about taking their thing their their money and throwing it into the camp out and yeah but doing like shirts like you know you did shirts but like having like somebody physically make a badass shirt like i already got a vision of like like oh, uh, my having, shirt's not badass not as good as mine's gonna be oh fuck so. you mine is so sick <laughs> but like i got this vision of like the way i want the shirt to be for ours this next one coming up mm -hmm. with like having the k river sign on it i got this i got this really dope picture of steve from our, our anniversary party this year flipping mm. off the camera and it yeah. just seems fitting to have him on the shirt yeah doing this which he doesn't need any more plugs and advertisement from anybody in Love america because he's so fucking like famous now and shit but all these different things and then whoever the sponsor is be like the sponsor of the camp out they'll they'll have their little logo integrated in this like monologue or montage of this picture yeah i see what you're saying yeah yeah and use just the sponsorship money for like the shirts and like advertising of the camp out so it's not necessarily like are you just gonna sell the shirts for cost we, I mean, yeah, I'll sell the shirts and I'll probably make some money if that's, we are in America, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> capitalism. Yeah. I just I just didn't want anybody to think I was capitalizing on a camp out kind of thing. Like, like I don't, oh, he's, he's- But you can't look, you he's can't- starting a camp out to make money. I'm like, no, motherfucker, this is, it was a risk. Yeah. If I didn't sell X amount of shirts, I was gonna lose my ass, but I'm fine with that. I was fine with losing my ass. I well, just, it was too good of a drawing I don't to really, waste it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna make money in the sense that like, 
put like this, I would love to make money during the camp out, right? Mm-hmm. But I don't, I want to do it honestly, right? And that's always been the issue. It's like, I don't want to come in. I don't want to charge you $5 to get into the campground. Plus you pay for your camping fees. Right. I want this thing to be the cheapest and most uh, easy thing for you to do. And no matter where you're coming from in America, because I don't want to hear your bullshit. Oh, I can't get off work. I can't do this. I don't want to hear it. This shit's costing you $15 a night. You're not going to get a cheaper place to stay, right? Even Oh, uh, by the way, the uh, Scooter Haven is, I believe, $10 per night per tent, not mm-hmm. per head. So it's going to be pretty damn that's cheap pretty there, cool. too. Yeah. yeah. So that's the whole point. It's just cheap, and you want to make it accessible for everybody. But now that we're coming up on, on year four, right, or the fourth camp out, I... I don't know if it's like money. Like I'm not necessarily looking for money out of the deal, but I would like to make it bigger somehow. And to make it bigger, it means more money has to come in. Mm-hmm. But it's pretty pretty fucked up if everybody thinks that I should keep paying for everything to be better without getting anything in return. In return yeah. You know what I mean? So it's it like, is a lot of effort to get these going. It is. There's a lot of phone calls. There's a lot of orchestrating. I could just show up and tell people to show up, and then we get there, and it's just like. So what are we doing? Eh, we're in a know. field yeah. that's not. That's you didn't not, pay me, uh, bitch. Yeah. It's not mode. We're sleeping in tall grass because I didn't call anybody. We don't have any lights out there. It's just like I'm trying to get everything going. They're I, they're actually getting annoyed with me at that campground because I keep calling them like, yeah, well, "Hey, do you always, have this in line? When all these food, people show you up, you'd be like, "You annoyed now, motherfuckers? Yeah. Like, let them have it." And we're gonna spend money in the bar. Yeah, maybe. This, a lot of us don't have coolers, so we're gonna be, you know, hey, there's a bar right there. Drinks are on donation. Are, is so there a can, Chili's or Applebee's close by? <laughs> No, we're in the woods, man. Like the wood, there's three gas stations in the whole town, and they're on the same corner. And there's nothing else in the whole town. It's where all my hunt, my friends' hunting camps are. Like it's in the middle of nowhere. Is there deer but out the there? The good thing is, there's going to be no like noise ordinance or anything, and we'll be able to. There's two cops in the whole town, so so we could take them. Yeah, so <laughs> you can know, overthrow the town. We'll we'll just it's we'll like just, Duke's a hazard, huh? We'll just pop Jesse's tire. Let we'll sacrifice him. Yeah, so he has to pull over, and then he'll take all the tickets I don't for us. Remember signing up for that? <laughs> Turn off his mic. <laughs> he, he has all the control. Of it. I don't have any of it. He turns me off. <laughs> now the uh, so yeah, that, that's the hard thing. So that's why it's been hard for for me, and I think that as the camp house going for you and even Steve, it's not that you want to make a profit on it, but you want to find a way to take some of the money that's being generated by the camp out to make the camp out better. And I also wanted something that people could show. Like I rode this ride. And I got there, and I earned this shirt, and that's why I won't send shirts to anybody. Mm-hmm. Like, come there and get it. I am. It's like a kind of a poser cool. thing. Yeah. Like, I don't want you to. Like, oh, I ordered a shirt. I mean, I can make a fucking killing. The amount of people who hit me up who want it mailed to them, but I'm not going to do it. I'm like, no, you're not wearing one of these shirts unless you were there. No, that's that's cool. I mean, there's yeah. tattoo shops that do that that won't ship shirts. I was like, you got to come to our shop, see the environment, yeah. see the yeah, the be space. a part of it. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, you don't get a, a tough mutter tattoo if you didn't do the tough mutter. I mean, you can. I know you. Is that what you do? <laughs> no, I'm you're doing them, huh? Yeah, so that, that's kind of the thing, man. So it's like, and, and at the same, you know, I, I feel like a lot of people probably deal with this conundrum of like, when you start to grow yourself or you grow your brand or your ideas, whether it's like the podcast or whatever. Like, when when I feel like sometimes I've heard people say like, man, like you know, a lot of people, for instance, like maybe, and I'm not trying to turn this into a Patreon conversation, but. A lot of people. Ooh, I like where this is going. Yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of listeners this podcast. We don't have a lot of Patreon support, right? And that's, it, I'm still very appreciative of what I do have. I'm still working on my, see the way my, my bank account works. <laughs> it, yeah, I got, I got money in my not, savings. It's not and the, I gotta, it's yeah, not the, uh, it's not the end of the world that they don't. Like, I don't, it, it isn't a big deal. But like, when you look at the, the listener numbers versus that, you kind of like get a little like, like really like yeah. it's kind of weird you know for like, a dollar or some shit like, but the thing is that i a lot of people and even justin hang em high told me this is like man i don't love that guy like, you're doing all the shit i want to do i don't want to pay you to like do what i want to be doing i'm like i get that but you know you ask how much these cameras cost you know all that that little thing right there i i owe a lot of money in taxes right now and i shouldn't have bought that two days ago i'm in the same boat but i was like fuck it you know like I want it, you know, I want to make this podcast a better thing. And I want to, I want it to be a better experience for everybody that's actually here and the ones that are seeing it on the, on the screen here. I know how much you're making on the podcast. You've told me before, and it doesn't cover half the shit. It doesn't. So it's like, I have to paint, I, you know, like, um, going out of town, going to, you know, Milwaukee and all this stuff. Like, first off, 
everybody out there that listen, like I didn't get a free motor. That didn't happen. Yeah, you paid hundreds of dollars for that thing. Hundreds, <laughs> tens of dollars for that thing. <laughs> what I actually did was I traded a paint job that, that they're building at that dealership. Right. A paint job on a on a lowrider S and a helmet for and a your close paint friend. jobs are worth easy, two three hundred bucks. <laughs> it's crazy. It's fucking nuts. <laughs> Twice what I make. So that's that's exactly what I did. I like I traded a deal. And then they helped me out to, to bring on a lot of guests from Milwaukee. So it was a really great. Yeah, deal. you did a lot from their, their yeah, show I was coming to say out. How many how yeah. many casts came out Just from that little spot. trip? That yeah. was so awesome. that I, the whole trip. So from what I've released so far, what I have left in the barrel ready to shoot out uh, is seven podcasts still to release from that trip. From that trip. Wow, that's insane. So you know, like this one will come out. You know, we'll put this out on Monday, like audio version. And then, uh, you know, later on in the day, I got uh, Paint Huffer coming through here, and we'll do his probably mm -hmm. on Wednesday or Thursday. You're going to be so drunk by the time he gets here. I know, it's going to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's weird because, like, I've got a lot, not, not, just the, not just the money, man, the time, man. It's, it's uh, being away from work, going on these trips, doing this stuff, getting the guests on. You know, Jesse, I was telling him, I was like, man, it's, this podcast – podcast thing is like this like you plan we planned to do this podcast right now last night at originally it was 6 p.m then it was 8 p.m now it's 10 a.m i did not agree to any of these times for yeah. the record so it's like but that's the thing it's like i don't i don't have the luxury when when you're trying to create content for everybody in the world i don't have the luxury of being like well you know the window's closed buddy mm. like now i have to adjust my whole life to make it work in those things. So like, right. Cause I, I really wanted to do it cause I'm in this, I have so many friends now, especially in Dallas and all this stuff just from this podcast. Yeah. And I was like, man, that'd be really cool to do it. The, to do the thing that I started listening to that changed my perspective on riding. And I was like, man, that'd be so dope to do it. But then I uh, was trying to get loaded yesterday. I got there at uh, 11 in the I morning. I can look at the back of the text messages. Yeah, 11 in the morning. I was, I sat there I was ready for, at 2 o'clock. I sat and there I kept, for, about, I, wouldn't, I wasn't trying to bother them, but about every hour I would sit there mm -hmm. and say, so what's it looking like? I felt so well, bad. He's in his like? driveway sitting on his bike. I was all I geared up. I was sending him pictures. The bag he's going to pull around the corner any minute. <laughs> I, said, I thought I was going to get in and out, and then I was going to be here by 8, and then um, I sat there for 8 hours in a parking lot. Um, I was even telling him to, to go, you know, put some t 20 bucks in the, the hand of the guy. And he's like, nah, it's a machine and a CB. Yeah, we don't deal with anybody. They call you on the CB and then they print out your stuff out of a yeah. scale house and then you leave. But I mean, I charge him a hundred bucks an hour. So at least it was worth it. <laughs> so I ended up waiting at the bar, found a bar that was close to where his bike's parked at and waited there for him until he was able to get. And I think it was about eight o'clock we got on the road. Yeah. We were, we were supposed to be here at eight. And we didn't even leave Little Rock until eight. I was like, meet me at this gas station. He gets there like right before me, and yeah, I was these like, dudes I'm not are standing pulling guns. guns in the literally, guys lot. walking out of the gas station, guns not, not in hand, but in the air, bitching about the folks inside the gas station. And I was like, man, little white guy, clean motorcycle. I'm gonna go over here in this parking lot and wait for. Uh, I went there because I haven't, you know, it's free target practice for a Floridian. Well, <laughs> I mean, just get her done. Arkansas's laws are a little different. So I don't think you can just go around, especially just, you shoot them and then you you yell, "I'm new." Yeah, I don't know. What I'm, I'm new. <laughs> new. Show me this is it. coming from a certified NRA instructor. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Just man. don't shoot him in the back, right? Mm -hmm. Turn around. Turn around, shoot him in the front, and say that was the first one. Yeah, <laughs> that's mean. <laughs> we got a ride today, but no, it was fun still. I mean, we made it. The <laughs> <laughs> we got a ride today. <laughs> I don't know why I said one there. I'm gonna mm -hmm. get fired. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like the experience of like being here in the in the studio? And I love it. I mean, I built this with my own two hands. <laughs> you did, yeah, you you did, did help build this the studio, so it's only fitting that you get to come in almost a year later. Right? Yeah, that's uh, that's he's paying me for my labor right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bribe. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I still owe you, right? Oh, we'll just come on the podcast. That's worth a couple hundred bucks. Um, the the lights are cool. The, it's like really sets a setting, and and when you're watching it on like YouTube and stuff, which I have, you can it really does set a tone for the room. Just like, stuff I would have never thought of. Where'd you get that idea? Was that like a Rogan thing? 
No, no. Uh, first off, Rogan copied me with the red. Oh yeah, 100%. I figured he did. 100%. He's such a piece of shit. He's getting shit. so yeah. much slack for that. Though. I think yeah. he follows me on one of his shadow accounts. He almost got canceled for it. Yeah. Yeah. So, but no, the uh, the thing with the red was like it just worked with the gray, and it, it's like a horny color too. <laughs> <laughs> you ever put a, you put a light bulb, a red light bulb in your lamp, and I your used bedroom. to like the red light, hey, I used all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I used to keep a red yeah. light, light in my bedroom just for that reason. See, because yeah. it's That's the perfect amount of light. Yeah, it's seduction, right? So I'm trying to, I'm trying to get. Right. I tried to get him to change it to purple yesterday. See, obviously, so I don't the, keep no. lights in my bedroom. <laughs> here's here's the thing about like the the lighting, right? So mm -hmm. the lighting is like cameras don't uh, pick up naturally blues, purples, and those cooler colors mm -hmm. as well. It all looks white, right? So the warmer things like red, orange, gold comes off, and you can actually feel the color versus like the way it would have to be for the live stream if you wanted like a purple background you would have to do editing with the color correction in the video, which you couldn't do with a, you really couldn't do that with the live stream. It's like a filter mm. kind of. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So like I did a, a picture. Uh, I can edit. I saw the, the picture of just the, the room itself that you, and it looked real good. Well, so the, the concept is to create like, I mean, first off, it's like, it, it is, uh, I, I want to find a way to make this an experience. So people are like, man, you, you go do the Fast Life podcast, it's just dope. You know, I want it to be. It is, here. and it's very professional, especially when you're getting guys like uh, uh, Covington in here, and like this it's, is. A I mean, I haven't had them in here, thing. but eventually oh, you didn't do it here? No, I did it in their uh, kitchen. Oh, I thought you did it professional, here. Dude, professionally in there. The only other hey, thing you had like uh, tattooing is podcasting. I've done it in kitchens, bedrooms, bathrooms, fucking everything yeah. in between. You had Rick done Fairless, the back of a van. I haven't done him yet. I thought you did him. No. Oh, you know who did? Danger Dan. Danger Dan did. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So me and Rick his show so much better. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm available anytime you're ready, Dan. I wouldn't talk any shit, man. Jason, Jason's been holding on to that snap on thing for about 20 minutes now. <laughs> right. He's ready to fuck This you is up. what you give me by a $7,000 toolbox. Oh, shit. A little snap on thing. <laughs> but no, like, uh, you, you, you want to create an experience and, like, we're not we're not in the west coast right so we don't have like an la office and right. everybody that's coming to la can you know so texas is kind of out of the way but if you're traveling it's a good waypoint at least it's not like san antonio which is like nobody yeah. drives through san antonio yeah, yeah. there's no reason it's south. Way too far south at least dallas is like oh we're going from new mexico to oklahoma or Atlanta, or whatever i mean you're cutting through yeah. on 20 so it's a good spot it's not too far. Like Florida is out of the way. Nobody drives through Florida. Yeah, like you're if you're in Florida, you're there for a reason. Yeah, the camp. Yeah, but uh, I mean, Florida is like the most visited vacation place. Like I've never met a person that hasn't been to Florida. Yeah, I've never yeah. been to Florida. What? Mm -hmm. And you want to go to Louisiana instead of the camp out? No, 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 no. I'm going, going to the there. Camp He's out. going to do both. I'm going to do both. I've been to Louisiana. I've been to New Orleans. I don't think he needs shit. to do Louisiana. I think I, that, that's what I said. Skip so, Louisiana. Uh, you uh, trying to get uh, robbed? You're going to yeah. have a bike. Well, bike. here's what happened. This like we had a we had a fucking debacle on our fucking group chat because, like I said, I plan trips a lot, so I understand um, what it is to plan your day to do something right. And Jesse hasn't done that yet, so he's like, "Oh, we're gonna we're gonna leave Dallas and we're gonna go to New Orleans." Mm -hmm. And then I was Friday. like, we're just going to... Friday, right? Yeah. And then we were going to go from New Orleans to all the way to the camp. So you're you're going to go all the way to Florida for one night. Because you're going to get there at night. And you're going to be like, all right, time to turn around. And it's like you kind of well, missed the to, 600 miles. From I was trying to avoid taking off New work. Orleans. But then I started thinking about it. And I was like, might as well just fucking... Ride with the group. Yeah. Party with us. And, the thing and is, that, like, it, it's, it, he, it's exactly what we were saying about earlier. It's like, look... The experience is with the group. If you if you alienate yourself from everybody else and you don't have these connections with all these other people because you didn't share the experience. I'm still going to leave my ass if I break down. No, we're not. No. Dude. <laughs> I thought that's what we do. Justin broke down half a dozen times on the way to Sturges and we just put up with it. Oh, you only broke down once on the way back from Sturges when I was with him. We, same problem, that carburetor yeah, yeah, bracket. Problem. But See, the thing is, he's probably traumatized because I, I say that, like, look. Get your shit together before you try to ride across country with me. But then it's usually me that's fucking up. And I'm like, hey, guys, just one more minute. Let me just tighten this. And Dude, on the way good. to Sturgis, his fucking uh, primary on his uh, FXR was leaking. And by the time I got there, I had bought new shoes to, like, ride out there. and just Because I was going to trash them anyway. Yeah. Dude, covered in oil. Like the and good thing there were like blue denim-ish kind of, like, vans. Yeah. But they were, like, my left side was black. Yeah, just bike was leaking side. out of everything. Fork seal was leaking primary was leaking that's me having covid 
Yeah, I forgot to switch it. My bad. I was I've talking. Ar- I've already got that stuff. Wait, does is there a camera on you? No. Oh. We can turn one on him. So no, no, somebody a, somebody even said, "Why aren't we seeing Jax Taylor?" And I said, "Jax." So Jax Taylor. Because, I saw a joke when you started talking about the shoes. I was going to make Jax, a joke about him being white. But. Jax didn't want my good looks distracting. All you're going to yeah, okay. be concentrated on is how gorgeous the guy with the fucking headphones on is. So the thing is, like, uh, like I said, I told you what these cameras cost, and I'm going to buy one more, and I want to put it at the end of the table right there. So it captures the entire room. That'd so be that, cool, yeah. Yeah. So we'll have three camera angles. That way people can see the whole shit show that's going on. Yeah, they can on. see the whole you butthole, dude. And it'd be really real. And that's room. where you'll get the, uh, the so what are they called? So basically, this camera's $1,000. So if I save up my Patreon for the next couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> months, people. I can probably buy on one it. more. Get on it. You like the podcast? Pay for that shit. Support your friends. You know the, the other thing we've been trying to do with the Patreon is uh, is doing like a content that's, that we just released on Patreon. Have you listened to any of that shit yet? On the way here, um, for for some reason when I downloaded it, you have the app. Like Patreon has an app, right? Yeah, and uh, I downloaded that extra with Cody and James. Uh-huh. And Kyle, maybe. Did you listen to the one with me, and Jesse, Kyle, yeah. and Darley? Oh, dude, we were fucking yeah. trash. Yeah. Dude, did you listen to the whale joke? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember it. <laughs> I want to listen to it now, dude. Dude, it's Fuck the you. funniest thing. Well, for us, because we were, I was high and he was drunk. Dude, but, I hadn't been that drunk in fucking years. Well, Craig's in time. <laughs> you ready? Well, it was dude. Vegas, so well, because we bought, we went to. Uh, I changed Walmart. my name to Vegas, huh? We went to Walmart. Yeah, well, for what? And we, we went we, to. We did a bunch. Yeah, so we bought a bunch of beer to keep in the in the room, uh-huh. but uh, we turned the room. So when when Seema, you know, uh, we Sherman turned it Williams, into like a podcast studio, basically. Yeah, okay. Sherman, Sherman Williams hit me up and said, "Hey, we're looking for a bike to bring here." I didn't realize that was his real name. Garley Adam Sherman Williams. No, Sherman Williams. <laughs> I know, <it's> <laughs> Yeah, so basically we turned it into like a podcast studio and then um, we had bought a bunch of beer and shit and then we went to uh, Twin Peaks and you know how when you like you can buy that big ass mug? So then I, I literally just had this mug the rest of Vegas and I was pouring beers in it just all day, every day. And by the t- end of the day, every day, I was like completely fucking trashed off like PBRs and stuff. Hell yeah. So then we did that podcast and then he did that fucking whale joke. I was talking about throwing zebras out of the fucking window. I don't know. Remember I was telling you like, what? I had a Snickers yeah. in my pocket. <laughs> I don't know if I ate it. <laughs> what the fuck? So here, this is the context though. This is the context. So the first podcast we did in Vegas was with uh, Darren McKay. Right, okay. he's yeah. real good friends with the. Uh, oh, and I Bare came Knuckle in Paul. at the end of that, and yeah. I was, that's when I I had just went and uh, gambled and. Um, you won like, I won like three hundred bucks. So I, I okay. First off, here's backstory. I went to Vegas with four hundred dollars. That's all I had. Where did you stay? With them for free, oh. and I rode with them for free. Yeah. Why did you gamble? Because <laughs> did, did you have a, a, a lot of money that you so, were allowed to so lose? Because I would just put it no, on black and walk. Because this is what happened. I went and I was like, just I, I was like, I'm gonna give myself fifty dollars to you gamble with. You couldn't get like a hooker that wasn't in an establishment for that, dude. So I gave I myself, heard. I gave myself a fifty dollar, you know, thing I could gamble with. I was like, if I lose fifty bucks, it's whatever. I'll still make it the whole week. So I get there and I, it was like the second machine I sit in, and there's some dude who's been there all night. He's like sitting on this machine, dun, 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 losing. And I sit right next to him, I put money in, or the little voucher, you know, I put the voucher in and I spin it and I won the first fucking roll, 300 something dollars. And it was double the amount of money, you know, that I had. So I was like, I'm fucking done, like I'm out, you know. So We're going I, to the bunny ranch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so I'm like, I got like $600, you know. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so I won all that fucking money, I went back in there and then they were doing that fucking podcast with uh, Darren McKeague, or what is McKeg. it? McKeg. And everything, and then they started talking about uh, gambling themselves, and I was, we we got on the subject of like, if I had won like five thousand dollars, what would you have done with it? Yeah, and I was like, I made a joke about, does this even fit in my bank account? <laughs> because I've <laughs> never funny, I've yeah. never seen that kind of money. Yeah, I've deposited that kind of money yet. So. And it's like, do I have to walk? Do I walk into a different door? Yeah. Do I, go, do I like? Who do I talk to? Do, do I get my own? But, but this yeah. is the funny thing about it. It's like when me and Darren did this podcast, we immediately, as both of us sat down, we both put in uh, edibles. Mm-hmm. So. Jesse put kind of put edibles. He's insert, not like put him in insert, your ass or something. Player one. I put him in my butt. Yeah. yeah. Put him, yeah it's like the alcohol <laughs> thing. Yeah. So it absorbs faster. 
Um, so then Jesse kind of comes in right at the time when they start kicking in. Right. And <laughs> perfect timing. The, it was just like, like I said, the context of this situation, like if you listen to the podcast and it's like, uh, maybe you don't get it, right? Maybe you don't understand why things are funny because you're not sitting in the room right now experiencing mm. it, right? But the cameras if, help. If you go, yeah, the cameras do help. So it's like if you were to go ever ask Darren about that situation, he'll be like, yo, dude, this shit was a fun, it was an experience, right? Yeah. That's why you like when you hear like the Joe Rogan experience, it's an experience to do these things. Uh, I never and thought about that, but yeah. He said he stole that name from uh, the Jimmy, Jimmy Hendrix, Hendrix yeah. experience. Uh, that w- what was that? A ba- Jimi Hendrix experience. A band? That was, yeah, that was, that was the name of, his, of the band? That was what he called it. That was the name of him. Like, yeah. that was him and his band. So I'm not a fan of that. I think that's phoning it in. <laughs> was he good? Was he good? <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? How's he Turn his now? mic off. <laughs> What's he? Does he still make music now? Yeah. Is he retired? <laughs> I've never heard of him. <laughs> Jesse's about to throw something at me. Yeah. You can't see him. But no, so like. I don't know why we got on the topic, but it was, uh, no, well, we were trying to do the Patreon thing. Yeah, you definitely need to check it out, though. Can I piss real quick? No. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn your mic off. This is Scott. He's a tattoo artist. You want to take over? No, I'm good. <laughs> we'll wait. I need to come back. Yeah, we'll just have dead air for however long it takes you. Right, Hold your breath. I feel like you just almost took that TV out, though. I almost did. I bet the cameras all shook as he walked out. <laughs> you can hear him walking out the steps. Nah, he didn't do it. No, I didn't shake. We're good. Bummer. Slam the cabinet one more time. What does that mean? I don't know. I guess somebody's knocking the table or something. You it's, shouldn't hear any of that. You hear that? Badly? Yeah. Well, not bad. Just you hear it. Dude, so like when I was on this last... But I think it's when he's moving that bottle. Because the bottle makes a lot of fucking yeah. noise. Oh, this one? Yeah. Yeah, that bottle. Let's see how long we can have dead air until people get uncomfortable. Start watching the uh, viewer count go down. Only five people like it. Thanks, guys. So far, it's like my mom, my grandma, my <laughs> Jesse's girlfriend. Here he comes. Oh, thank God. So dead in here. Wow. How do you have a podcast with uh, without your your guest? You know. Yeah. The host left. <laughs> no, the host is still here. I didn't even. Uh, Wash my hands, and I, I forgot to flush. Okay, are I'm you back? Gonna, I'm glad you're uh, you're here though. Just, just take it, take stadiums. a breath. Take a breath. Holy shit, <laughs> dude! I know what you mean. Right? Come up the stairs. <laughs> are you in a hurry? You get back in a piss break. You're like, okay, one minute, one minute, one minute. Yeah. You're doing the fourth quarter. Hey, we told you it was going to be an experience. <laughs> Jace, that's an experience. No, it's uh, just like that James guy. Hendrix. <laughs> James? <laughs> he made that uh, whiskey, right? No, James. the gin. Hendrix gin. Is that what he's famous for? All right, dude. Somebody get this man some grenadine. <laughs> some grenadine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already uncomfortable. <laughs> that was Who the fuck drinks liquor in the middle of the day on a Saturday? It's the morning. Well, no, it's like the mid-afternoon. Well, it started in the morning. We you can drink early. all day if you don't start in the morning. Our day started early, so... Our day hasn't ended from last day. Yeah, we didn't get that. <laughs> they call that yester. 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 What do you mean by all this yester shit? <laughs> hey, man, put on some of that James Hendrix. We're going to have to Uber to fucking Stokers. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to drink a monster, sober him up. I'm good. Dude, get this man some food. How about we get some food here in town before we leave? No, no, no. We got pizza in the trash. <laughs> we had a party last night. Yeah, no. It was the hey, welcome to Dallas Craig party that <laughs> Craig didn't show up to. Yeah, it was a welcome party that you weren't at. I know. It was like it's everybody I know in Dallas was in one spot. You, didn't, you didn't get to have the first part of the experience, man. I know. Well, maybe if somebody would have texted me and said, hey, come here. We're waiting on you. Oh, that is Jace's fault. He's real bad at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Surprise, dude. Surprise. You didn't even tell me to come here. For all you know, I was going to Dallas to uh, get a hotel in there. Yeah, the last man, we just decided. We said we were looking at the time and the clock, and we're like, man, everyone's probably going to go to bed we by can, the time we get yeah. there. We can either ride all night and get there, and everybody's like, good to see you going to bed. Or we can go to Hooters and Texarkana. Texarkana. What time did y'all make it to Texarkana? Uh, about 8? No, no. About 10. 
10. Yeah, yeah we left, like we, 9, 30, 10. We left we, Little Rock at 8. We've been, we've we've been, been here. here we've been, that picture y'all posted at like, what, 1230? We would have been here after that photo we took, was no, taken. No, right then. about when, about 12. Yeah, about the time that, yeah. yeah. And everybody would have been like, cool, man. Glad you made it. We're all we're done. We're bed. out. Yeah. So we're, we're like, some let's left over. And Arcana and get a night out of this. Because it's a Friday night and I don't get a lot of days off. And, uh, oh, did you put your hand? Did I put my what? I thought you put your hand up and I missed it. Do you want to? What? Oh, am I talk? asking questions? Is that what we're doing now? Do you want to do it? <laughs> my turn? Do you want to high five? Oh, high five? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't make a noise. He's not good at it. Uh, I need something to chase this with. There's you. Uh, maybe a little less bitch. <laughs> Son, what? Young, wait, what's your last name? Young. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say Young Hudson, but I don't no, think he's, your last he's, name is Hudson. Oh, he's a Russell, yeah. man. I'm a Russell, dude. Oh, that's right. I knew that. Yeah. If you go to Tennessee and you check up the Russells, the white trash, he dude, is Russell trash. is the most hell yeah brother name I've ever heard. Fuck of yeah, brother. <sighs> don't want to tussle with a Russell, buddy. Bro. <laughs> He's a rustler. <laughs> Y'all need some fucking food, man. Nah, we're good. There's Don't a you fucking judge us over there. It's fucking Saturday, dude. Don't you came judge me with those judgy eyes? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you look at me with those judge... What is it? It's a movie quote. Church bitch, don't look oh. at me with those fucking judgmental eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you church bitch. Oh, that's so from uh, You Spound It Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was, yeah. I, I couldn't yeah. fucking pull it out fast enough. So she said, no, it's not. I feel like, you know, the only thing, I, I feel like there needs to be like clutter on the table with shit. Just yeah. to look like we're it's no we need in. we need no, like, like a little bobbleheads we and need half smoked no, cigarettes so, and ashtray so like this is my thing like I haven't done it yet because I want to get some pictures printed out of like some of the things that we've done you know, like bike mm -hmm. like like the, the the picture of me and all the dudes from last year's Cali ride mm -hmm. where we were all at uh, White Sands and this photographer was there <laughs> and he shot a photo of us and it's a dope photo and I want to get it printed out and put it in here that way there's like shit going on that where you could be like. Not that if you have a dead part of the conversation, but there's just so much shit to talk oh, about. Like, so where, where was that taken? Well, that yeah. picture y'all took, the Sturges with all y'all in the helmets on. Yeah, yeah. That's a super rad photo. That was a dope picture. I shared that. That was a cool you picture. You should have been there. Yeah. I wish I was, but I don't remember where I was that day. Yeah. Because I drink. Yeah, I like Power Rangers, too. <laughs> Can we turn on him now instead of turning on me? <laughs> but no, that, that, that's a... I, thinking about like what to put on the table. No, Jesse, my, my idea yesterday for the table. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. So I've been buying all these fucking uh, Easy Rider magazines down here and they all have the uh, the, the centerfolds in it. Are those old ones? Yeah, the fold out posters. That's from 01, so my graduation year. 20 years. So on eBay, there's certain companies they that They sell titties in 01? Yeah, they were pretty- uh, Titties have been around It was like early boob. <laughs> yeah, have you ever it. seen, uh, what was that? Uh, I don't know, I'm not getting that. So, <laughs> uh, you can on eBay there. There's guys that sell like the the complete years for like fifty, sixty bucks. That's worth so you, it. like you. So I think that's all of two thousand one. Every magazine with the centerfolds, with like any motorcycle shops need to have these on their waiting room table. Exactly. So what I want to do is on this table, I want to take a couple of years and cut out every centerfold with the titties and the bikes, and put them all on the table epoxy and then like epoxy, epoxy them in. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. That way when you're sitting here, you're like maybe listening to me, but you're also looking at that, dude, that chick's tits right here, dude. Between that and the lights, you're just gonna have hard guests. Yes, yeah, it's like time. dudes yeah. are like, all right, I gotta yeah. go. <laughs> yeah. He said he was going to pee. Lot, He's been gone more, for yeah, a lot more bathroom minutes. breaks. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Quite a few more bathrooms. <laughs> Tony, he, uh, King Tony had a helmet back in the sport bike days where he did that. He took a bunch of uh, the comics, the porn comics out <laughs> and cut them and stuck them all over the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I love there's a delay. <laughs> but he did that. He, he, he had it all over his helmet, and uh, it got quite a few laughs everywhere he would go. And it had a huge vagina on the back, and he wore that thing everywhere. I think he's probably still got that helmet, if you ask. Just yeah, that look pussy's at it. worn out, dog. Oh, it's a big old <laughs> sun flappy helmet. Oh, flapper. <laughs> Mary Poppins' pussy, dude. That's why that kid rear ended him. <laughs> yeah, <I got> him. <laughs> It's on the back of the helmet. <laughs> going, going hard in the paint. He's just staring I at can't blame pussy. <laughs> yeah, so we're trying to figure out how to make this more. <laughs> <laughs> that was fit again, dude. You know what, dude? I, this podcast is only funny when I'm on here, man. I'm so, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Every a hundred percent of the podcasts I've been on are great. Are hilarious. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've I've listened to like ten Wait, minutes. Of I, all I haven't. <laughs> 
We I've never released the actual OG original drunk cast. Dude, we need to. I, I don't think, even know. I think if I'm it's gonna relevant. put it on the Patreon. You want I'm Patreon actually, money? Put your money where your mouth is. Dude, the problem know. is that it's embarrassing. Yeah, I don't even know oh, if it's dude, relevant I'm anymore. I'm not gonna listen to this because I'm already embarrassed. Okay. But but really the drunk the, cast that we did, it was like what, two years ago? No, it was it was bef- like it was like before very very beginning podcast like, yeah so i don't even know if what we were talking about is even relevant or it's it's definitely not relevant <laughs> he's on there just going man fuck the new soft tail <laughs> no, yeah he's probably yeah. saying fuck the new soft tail and fuck big wheel bagger yeah. still yeah uh-huh. well yeah. done meat is the way to go and well done <laughs> dude actually we should but yeah let's post this because that'd I'd, be great it's everybody will just roast you geez. well that's fine like it's part of being uh, a superstar <laughs> it's being roasted. nobody left <laughs> I laughed. I held it back. He's really making me feel uncomfortable in my own place. <laughs> you're about to get fired again, dude. <laughs> and your probationary day back. Uh, I heard he's not even going to show up for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I'm drinking straight fucking Crown Royal right now. <laughs> you think this is Sprite? I don't know, but you don't drink it all because I want to try that before. It's, I don't want to do it now because I'm already drunk. How about you don't tell me how to live my life? <laughs> this is turning into a drunk cast. You want to arm wrestle? <laughs> dude, yes, actually. It depends which I'm arm, fucking, actually. Dude, we have cameras. Let's arm wrestle, dude. You, I will never turn that shit down. Over the top? Yeah. <laughs> Just yell over the top and regrip it and fucking bring it. What is going on right now? As, as a truck driver, that's his. Bro, uh, it's fucking two. Dude, I need powder before I can arm wrestle. <laughs> what? I <laughs> need <laughs> <laughs> what we need is like Dude, I cannot wait to hear your next podcast today. <laughs> I can't even we're going that way. Dude, Dude he your finishes shit together. <laughs> Just, he's not professional. He loses. He loses, and he's like, "Oh, I got a rash through my armpit now, dude. What the fuck?" No, I want to get one of those little things, like when you go like play pool. It's got the little stand that you just like rub. <laughs> Look at this on the camera. Watch the camera. It's not gonna show up. Yes, it is. Yeah, it, it is. Right now. It is. Oh fuck! Oh, <laughs> uh, we apologize for the audio listeners. Hey, you should watch the YouTube, dude. Yeah, watch the YouTube. So, no, like, you just have one of those in the corner that if any time, like, I have to challenge a guest, I'll be like, look, dude, you want to fuck with me right now, bro? Like, powder up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Powder up. Let's get this shit going. And all of a sudden, we just whip out a thing on, that goes on a table with a fucking, like, hole in it. <laughs> no, no. It, yeah, it could be a dick, but it's, like, metal. And you're like, ah. And then you just play it like that, and then oh, you mean the, the grip, <laughs> the grip, so yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But it could be a dick, elbow down. it could be a <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you take one of these metal poles and then you just hollow out the big, no, it's just a suction cup one, and then you no, it, it has, has to like, have it can't have a have gummy something. worm, dude. it'd be way funny if it popped off in the middle. <laughs> like, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm about to mute all of y'all, it's just gonna be me. <laughs> so, you're trying to make money off YouTube. <laughs> You kind shouldn't of. have had Craig on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. It's weird, man. like, watching yourself, though. It's distracting. I'm trying to decide if this is good for guests. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the comments are, those are kind of cool. Yeah. But, like, watching yourself, and then you're, like, self-conscious. You're like, okay, tuck the fucking extra chin in. Sit up straight, faggot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're the only one that has a said peggy here, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Are you into this or what? No, I'm into it. Are you woke? Uh, I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to help me keep it going. I'm about to be asleep. <laughs> I'm about to be asleep. Dude. So, down south camp out. Yeah, dude, check it out. When's that happening again? Tomorrow? Down south camp out. It is happening. You're pouring more and more each time, you know. Dude, dude you've almost killed that whole handle. That's not a handle. I mean, that whole uh, bottle. Whatever. I thought I was drinking with men. Hey, hey, throw that over here. <laughs> Why'd you put the thing up? You on? Uh, huh? Because he was talking about, about that topic. Yeah, we were trying to get back on the down south camp. Up. And that way we're not looking at ourselves. But you got to pay your guests somehow. I mean, just like, you got to pay the talent. <clears throat> I pay an exposure. This, uh, the camp out. <laughs> exposure for what? I can't make any money. The uh, spot you we're saying, is that that uh, ship thing you were talking about too? 
So they got a ship there. It's a it's a ship on land. It's built up to look like a cool old pirate ship, and there's a uh, they have plaques all over it of bikers, and their ashes are inside the ship. So all these bikers that have passed away, they put their asses ashes. <laughs> <laughs> wow! It went from real literally kind of. The, I was almost gonna shed a tear. Their asses too are technically there too, in the ship, and they put their name on a plaque on the side of the ship, so like bikers can live at the place forever it's really really neat that's kind of cool yeah, yeah so it's not gonna yeah. be like just an open field that's what i'm saying that, they got bars on yeah. the outside that are made out of school buses they got goats walking around they have goats yeah dude i'm not going well, you, you, you can't have sex with them i used to have a goat they're fucking assholes yeah when you try to put their your dick in them. <laughs> when you try to put their dick in them you ever try to put your dick in you dude food, actually <laughs> when they try to <laughs> <laughs> come on man i'm not the one staring at me yeah, I'm staring at all y'all. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna ride bikes? <laughs> I mean, we're at two hours now. We're responsible. We gonna cut what off. What does that mean? We're cutting us off. Two thirty, we cut off. Why? Because we need to eat. Because we're gonna go to the dentist. You get it? You get it? Yeah, we're responsible. We gotta eat food too. Shit. You boy. I didn't think I was gonna last forty-five minutes. I was like, I ain't got nothing to talk about. Dude, you got a lot. Got plenty to talk about. Yeah, man. You know, uh, my buddy Adam Garley just sent me some photos. Well, they're out there at V Twin Visionary. I just mm-hmm. want to say, uh, looks like it's raining, bro. <laughs> oh, I saw it started oh, yesterday. Actually, the first uh, up north campout I went at for Steve Chamberlain's campout. Uh-huh. I went in my truck because I couldn't get the bike up there, and uh, I was like, well, I'd rather just be there. And you guys are gonna ride all day. I'll just party with you at night. It rained the whole fucking time, so nobody could go riding. So they partied with me all day and all night, <laughs> and I loved it. Yeah, I was so happy it was raining. Well, that's the, that's the point about these campouts, and that's the other thing that happens a lot too, where people are, um, "Hey, man, uh, what's the weather looking like? It's looking like whatever the fuck it's gonna be." We're not fair. We're the bikers. Fact. I, was gonna say, I, was gonna say, I saw yeah. you mouth it. <laughs> nerd. Well, nerd. It's like, dude, it's I took it. it. It just come like it's gonna be rainy. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be whatever it's gonna be. Like that's that should not dictate your life. Like your uh, your your thought, which I agree with. If you're gonna ride cross country, don't check the weather. Just be prepared. <laughs> yeah, because if you're going that far, it's gonna alert, change. You're gonna hit some rain. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna change ride too. Ride through it. You know, so it's like you might. You're just gonna discourage yourself from when to even go. You're There's like, nothing wrong oh. with like checking the weather to kind of like manage some of the like immediate things, but like I'm not gonna check the weather for 14 days from now yeah. and be like, oh well, it looks like it's gonna rain. Then I'm just gonna cancel that. Look, like, there's been times where it would say, like, on our camp out, we always have done it late April, right? It's fucking April showers, motherfucker. Like, there's R&B songs about this stuff, right? It hailed last year. Yeah. yeah. For, like, five minutes, and then it was hot as fuck <laughs> and dry. And that was cool. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, so, the rain was coming in, and I had a bike cover. So, I'm like, I'm just going to throw my bike cover on, because I just got a new seat with white stitching. I'm going to try to save it a little bit. Put the bike cover on, and... uh Cody's wife, Ashley, was like, why are you so extra? And I was like, whatever. Well, like, I'm you, why'd to... you say that like you were black? Because that's how she said <laughs> it. That's how she said that's, it. I don't think you can do that. I'm, I'm trying to get monetized. I don't, I don't have a business that can be canceled. Cultural appropriation. Yeah. Just think about me when you say things like that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it starts fucking hailing. And she's out there throwing flannels on Cody's paint job trying to save it. And I'm yeah. like, who extra now? <laughs> It was funny. Yeah, that's what uh, when I was saying we were going to Sturgis, there's a lot of folks that have been before and they were just talking the whole time like, oh, it sucks. It's going to rain, you know, like you're saying. Night. Yeah. And it's like, I mean, that's just part Dude, of really it. Lucky. There were there were nights where we were like like James, myself, we were all sitting there outside holding our tent from the wind that mm-hmm. was coming in from these fucking massive storms that moved that. across Wyoming. We and had shit. to shut our doors. Yeah, it was horrible. Dude, when we were out, when we were out in fucking uh, Sturgis, there was a... Uh, like a, a, a field fire that started from one of the storms that came through while we were at uh, what show is that? Uh, we were at the big the baddest bagger show. <laughs> yeah, what, in Sturges? Yeah, yeah. So the year that me and him went, so, so a storm came there, through there, really... and it was like a lightning storm, and it hit the fucking plains, and it caught fire to some of the areas. Oh shit! Yeah. yeah so the year that so in seventeen when me and Jesse went, like uh, it was kind of. Big Wheel Bagger still ruled the fucking streets, right? So like we were, we went to the Baddest Bagger show, but we took he was on my my blue dyna and I rolled my gold FXR. Mm-hmm. And that was the first year that MJK came down there, and nerd. Uh, he, yeah, nerd. Uh, he actually got um, he, canceled. 
Can't, yeah. No, he, <laughs> he got shunned out real quick. Uh, now he's actually shunned out by his own fucking peers. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool how it works out that way. Looks like the Big Wheel Bagger people are like prophets or, or, uh, or psychics or foreseers or whatever you would say. I don't know. Foreskins. Foreskins. Dawkins. I don't know why you're looking at me like I'm supposed to help this conversation. <laughs> help me out, dude. No, no, just edit that out. Yeah. yeah. There's no editing. We're live. <laughs> but no, to go back what you were saying, like, you know, the weather is going to be what the weather is. Like, yeah. be there. Enjoy it. You ride, you ride. If you're, I mean, not, if you go out and do extra riding, it's, it is what I put it a is. Lot but of, put a lot of eggs in that basket of fair weather bikers. Like, I don't know, man. It looks like it might rain. I don't know if I want to be your friend. Like, <laughs> just go and yeah. tough it out. You know, it creates more of a bond. Getting blown over in a tent with your buddies. Yeah. That it's, creates friends for that life. That shit's fun. That sounds gay. Getting I mean, blown. not in the same tent. <laughs> okay. Getting blown in a tent by your brothers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What that, club are you gay. in, dude? God damn it. <laughs> what kind of club are you in, bro? Delitas. Delitas? <laughs> You're gonna get canceled for yeah, sure. Yeah, get canceled. Oh. Oh. You misogynistic pig. They're gonna shut your shit down. So there will be no boycotted. leaders at the uh, yeah. Dallas South Camp Out. Your camp out just got boycotted. Damn it! You're really. Bad. He's a woman hater. He's really bad at PR. <laughs> right. <laughs> I could never work for a big company. It's like, hey guys, here's the deal. No chicks are gonna be at this camp out. So I'm self-employed. <laughs> yeah. Keep getting fired everywhere else. I had to do my own thing. Yeah. Me too, dude. Don't worry. As you I keep getting fired guy. from my brother. <laughs> Do better. <laughs> Shit. Well, yeah, what's y'all, next? Y'all, uh, what's next? Yeah, what's next? Where are we going? Lunch. Lunch? We're going to do lunch in a minute. Um, yeah. I think that's... <laughs> I think that's it. Do you have anything else you need to say about the camp out? We touched on it for like 20 minutes. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm super. Um, I'm super hyped for it. I so think on the fifth uh, again, Orange Beach Holiday Inn. Yeah. Um, then on the sixth, we'll be arriving between five and seven p.m. Um, yeah, I think any, I think anyone that's listening to this, if you're coming from Texas, there's gonna be a group. So I mean, I'm sure someone can get on there. The West, or if you got reach off. out to what's what's Jaden's Instagram looks like? FDXL or Dragon kicks ass four twenty. He should change his handle. Yeah, he's changed his yeah. dragon side. But it, I think it's uh, he's in my phone under Dragon. Yeah, dragging these nuts across your mouth. No, yeah, there's gonna be plenty. There's plenty of groups. All kind of. It's Dinah FXDL two one four. I wonder if the 214 is for our area code here. <laughs> I doubt I thought it was. I don't know why I ever read that as a 2014. I never noticed there wasn't a zero in there. Maybe I just thought it was, like it was a 2014. 2014. Uh, maybe. Or, maybe. you know. Reborn. Oh, maybe he's a Christian. Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor guy. <laughs> All right. Uh, they can follow you at. Tarpon. Tarpon. You, you pronounce tarp, it. Tarpon. Tarp on. Not tarpon. Tarp Tarp on turbo. That's how I've y'all do me it. dirty every tarp time on. with tarp on. Dude, oh, I just won't do you at all. It's hey tarpon. Hops. We're from <laughs> it's hey tarpon, hops, like the fish. Tarpon turbo. Oh. Like That's American fish. gladiators. So where'd that name fish. come from, anyways? Oh, do you want to get into that? Yeah. Okay. Me and my boy Sean Bryant are watching American Gladiators mm-hmm. one Saturday, drinking, and <laughs> <laughs> so how old were you? <laughs> <laughs> I was like twenty three. And I said, hey, can you guys start calling me Turbo? And they're like, no, absolutely not. <laughs> can you guys start calling me Turbo? No, it, it keeps going. He's like, no, absolutely not. We go to parties like later that night. And they're like, hey, what's your name? I'm like, hey, Turbo. And they're like, his name's Craig. And they don't call him Turbo. <laughs> they start calling my buddy Ben, whose nickname is Party. They start calling him Turbo just to piss me off. Mm. They're like, oh, Turbo's here. I'm like, don't you fucking do that. That's my goddamn nickname. <laughs> So I put on Facebook back, way back. Yeah. For now on, everybody addressed me as Turbo. And I worked at a strip club at the time, bouncing. And my manager slash DJ saw it. And from then on, at the strip club, on the microphone, I'd be like, Turbo, we need you at the front door, Turbo back door, Turbo the bar. So it's Turbo everything. Mm-hmm. So on my birthday one year, we had this like big dinner, like 30 of us. And uh, I was with my friend, Sean. And they're like, I get a call from my manager. I said, hey, we're having a screaming orgasm contest. Do you want to come manage it? Because I know it's your birthday. I'm like, yeah, like obviously. So we leave the dinner and me and Sean go there to uh, 
Did I say manage? I meant judge it. Okay. How do you judge an orgasm contest? You like sit there and behind where you can't see the girls and then they Would do their best orgasm excited? and then you judge them who the oh. winner is. And there's I thought you got squirted on or something. Yeah. Oh, that'd be sick. Like you just got like a, a, a wetsuit and like goggles mm -hmm. and you're like, that was good. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> so we walk in, we walk in the front door and the DJ is immediately like, we got turbo in the house, turbo, turbo. And he like looks at me like, you motherfucker. I'm like, yo, turbo fucking happened. And now like if I don't feel like going out and drinking or something, they'll be like, we'll call you turbo all night. And I'm like, all right, I'm on my way. Like, so, <laughs> so it's like a whole inside where story. Come from? Yeah, where the where Tarpon, the, I, live in, I live in Tarpon Springs, Florida. Mm. So Tarpon's a town I come from. We've yeah. Been. You should have been turbo of Tarpon. That's mm. too much. Tarpon turbo. Is well, like the but everybody says tarpon. Like Steve says tarpon. I say like that. It's tarpon, tarpon, like the fish. tarpon turbo is it's how tarpon. I say it. Tarpon, like tarpon the fish. Turbo. Tarpon. Yeah. So tarpon, tarpon turbo is, uh, you can reach me on there. Uh, Instagram, Craig Trooper on Facebook. T-A-R-P-O-N. Mm -hmm. Tarpon. Turbo. It spells like, it sounds like tarpon, but Unless it's you've ever fished, it's a tarpon. Yeah. I'm an adult in the 2000s, mm -hmm. right? Fish are everywhere at the grocery store. Why do I got a fish? It's like the most boring thing in the world. Fishing's actually pretty dope, man. I can't have it. Don't even. Man. Yeah. Eat dicks. Fishing's gay. Wow. As AIDS. Had to get that in there. <laughs> <laughs> now you're canceled. That's right. the one that put you over the top. Cancel this podcast. We're done. <laughs> Scott, what's your uh, tattoo page? We're not talking tattoos. We're about to no, get out. Hey, what's your tattoo page? Uh, Somebody might like your voice and want to <clears throat> put it in you. Uh, Wheelo underscore EPT. Like the pregnancy test, but that's Electro Panther tattoo. <laughs> it's got better. Well, I didn't notice it until after I already made like stickers and stuff, and I'm like, man, this is a pretty shitty yeah. Instagram. I like name. when people like really like. Unfortunately, uh, Jaden has a really weak ass Instagram name. That yeah, we're we're going to gonna hang out with him later on today, and his shit's getting changed today. We're going to intervene. He intervention has to him. have dragon in his hand. Right, he got the tattoo. Did we tell that story on this podcast? It's on the. It's, it's on their Sturgis. It's, it's on, on the Sturgis. God, yeah. On the yeah. yeah. Go back listen to the Sturgis podcast. The best part of the Dragon Sturgis podcast Dragon. is when uh, um, Kyle lets everybody know what the uh, <laughs> sound. <laughs> of, <laughs> <laughs> what the sound of the uh, old faithful makes right before it blows. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I want to integrate that into the uh, intro, like so it says. You should take the you best clips and hey, then add goes, them all to the intro. Hey, you guys ready to let the dogs out? And then Kyle oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That would be amazing. The best, dude. Oh, so, God. That's the plan. <laughs> Is that a laugh track? Yeah. Do we just put laugh tracks in there? Yeah, I just At the very end. Where were these the whole time these jokes weren't landing? I was trying to find the... Oh, that one's great. Are they hearing this? Yeah, they are. Probably barely. You're barely. All right, we're done. Yeah, we're done. Right. Thank you, guys. We out. See you at the Down South Camp Out. That was fun, right? I want to thank Jesse for coming back on and helping out with the uh, camera switching and the audios for the podcast. And, of course, Steve and Scott for riding down here uh, and helping us put on a good show. If you guys want to support this, you can go to our Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash fast life garage. Your donations help us bring on more guests and keep the show uh, quality up. So check it out. Also want to thank our sponsors, Dream Rides John on Instagram and team dream rides.com paint huffer metal flake, which you'll hear on the next podcast and paint huffer.com fast life 20 saves you 10% off thunder max EFI. On Instagram at shoptmax.com, Fast Life saves you 10%, lexin-moto.com, Fast Life 15% off, and follow them on Instagram at lexinmoto, Simpson Motorcycle Helmets and simpsonmotorcyclehelmets.com, Electric Lighting Co., and NAMS Custom Cycle Products.com. Use offer code FL2020 to save yourself some cash. All right, thank you guys. We'll be back again with Paint Huffer mm -hmm. Metal Flake, which is also on our YouTube. Uh, another great show and a good friend. Glad to catch back up with him while he was driving through Texas. All right, we'll see you guys back later on this week. Peace.